Oh my word, it's Aberax Precipice. We're going to play the Expanse yeah. role-playing game forever. Hi, hey, everybody. We were just talking about uh, stuff offline. It was a lot of fun. Now we're Not here yet. ready to play our game and have even more fun. Uh, thank you. Big shout out to one of our, our longtime fans, Commander Solo. We appreciate you coming by. Uh, we always appreciate you coming here to lurk and using our cool icons that we have, uh, our art. We paid for it. And if you're using it, that means it was worth it. Um, <laughs> No, it's that's not the worst. Like yeah. paper art. I, I I literally had I like, called I literally have three like four or five pieces of art I paid from major people I've never used, I've never debuted. And like I also need to get up my butt and make shirts come, but uh, <laughs> uh but yeah, hey, uh thank you so much for everyone for hanging out uh, and coming here to watch us play our game. Uh, we're continuing on uh with our little ex exploration of a new alien world. Um this is Damocles Cage, which is our phase four, and uh, we're having a lot of fun with it. I think we're on episode twelve. Looks like cheese. Um, I wanted to say uh, thank you again to uh, Zabriah for joining us here this month. Uh, yeah. Yay! How did uh, you like the last session? Oh, super great. Love being here. Always have such a blast. So You just like we got to talk more chemistry on air, apparently. We <laughs> talk about methane. I'm not even a chem major, and you're making me Google all the wrong stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's, I mean but methane is bio, it's like a byproduct. <laughs> I mean, so like maybe, I mean, it's not something you shouldn't know about, you know? <laughs> fair enough, right? Fair um, enough, fair enough. Fair enough, yeah. So uh, it's all, you know, biology is applied to chemistry and chemistry is applied to physics and physics is just applied to math, right? Um, yep, totally. But it's always applied philosophy, but that's, that's me getting too picky. Um, everyone, <laughs> uh, in addition to doing the show here, uh, we thank you for watching it on live, watching on YouTube, listening to it on, on our podcast platforms. Uh, there's some great ways to support us. Uh, one of them is you can go ahead and uh, support us on Patreon. Uh, it's one of the best ways to do it. Uh, we have some cool stuff planned for next month. I actually have my cast lined up for my birthday game. And if you remember last year's, it was pretty badass. Uh, Jennifer Kretschner, D-Day Walters is Fred Johnson. We had Ed and Lee Friedman. Uh, we had Goldie Chan, who's always a delight, and Josh Simons. Uh, playing with us, and we would play for World Central Kitchen and raise a few grand. Um, I have a, I don't, I don't want to necessarily, necessarily say a, a bigger cast, <laughs> but I got, I brought some big guns. I got some big guns. I'm, I'm, I'm bringing out. I got a few return people. I got, I got two new people, and I think three return people. Um, nice. For it. And I'm very excited to play. Uh, it will be a, a continuation of Adapa's Fate. So it will be a continuation of last year's game because I, I actually wrote like. A whole game and we played for four hours and i only got through like the first third of it and <laughs> because they, they i will say this man they, they really got they really wanted to hear about the hotels on titan like they wanted to know what like a hotel a domed hotel see each titan. one yeah. yeah they were really like we want to know about like the board now let's like, you know, let's check in time yeah, let's yeah. Check in time what is and, the bar uh, look i like? was like okay well i guess we yeah, well, I think I, I think the problem was I mentioned there was spas, and they were like, "Oh, there's spas." I'm like, "Yeah." Uh, I was like, "Well, what's all the spas?" I'm like, "Well, shit." Okay. Um, but we're doing filled with methane. Filled with methane. <laughs> actually, not not untrue in there. Um, there's there's a lot of methane actually on that planet, but for that, that, that moon, but uh, a lot of methane. Period, guys. If you guys if you guys read about space, a lot of methane as it turns out. Uh, that's what happens with these deep. Is it it's carbon and hydrogen? It's the, I mean, it's like. Basic, yep, CH three. Basic stuff, right? It's just yeah, kind of, CH CH three. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, but our Patreon is a great way. I'm going to be previewing more materials about the Adaptive Fate. I'm um, also Kofi's a great way to tip us out. Another way you can support us too is buy some merch. Uh, we just launched. Um, I, I, I still need to advertise. I forgot to. Uh, we had art done for when um, Jacob Mundell played with us last year, or back in 2022. Excuse me. Uh, we actually uh, commissioned art of his character. Uh, dingo and I decided to put art on the shirt. I actually sent one to, to Jacob a while back. I totally forgot about it. And I said, oh, I'll put the shirt up and uh, some people ordered them. But it's uh, there's not a lot of um, there's not a lot of expanse merch period, and there's no uh, Eric merch. So this is about the closest you're going to get. Uh, <laughs> so of, of 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 our own little brand of of our corner of our version of the expanse, which uh, yeah. has no relationship to the expanse because uh, it doesn't have any of the names of the expanse on the stuff. So please, uh, it is all original stuff by by all means. Um, but that that's available. That's a great way to order, and we have a discount code with Damocles if you want to. Um, also, I gotta say too, last week we have our new opening. I fucked up last week and I forgot to adjust the volume on it. 
and so oh. it's played super low during the episode. Oh, okay. Um, like really low. Like so, like you you had you had to crank your speakers, and when we come back on air, we're just like screaming and blowing people's faces <laughs> off. Um, so I, I I did I hopefully fixed it this week, but that was something I totally I just totally overlooked it. And it's one of those little things you don't think about until you go back and watch it. And you're like, why can't I hear this? Oh, because <laughs> I actually pulled the computer not to make anyone hear it. Okay, well, thank you. So. Um, <laughs> Oops. No, it wasn't just you, man. I, I, I'll i make sure it's hearable here and everything. So, but anyways, uh, we're going to go and run our opening credits here, and then we'll get kicked off, and uh, we'll play some Avrox Press Fist there. We will be back in about a minute. Right. See ya. Yeah, I know you got a lot of Star TVs. Uh, sorry, we were talking about the scan lines, guys, while we were there. Talking about the scan lines are our opening thing here. So hopefully that you guys can hear that. I, 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 let me know if it came through okay in the chat. Um, all right, last we left off, uh, the crew had uh, touched base on Eos, uh, the planet closest to Mundos uh, in the Aether system. That's a lot of words. Um, and uh, in, in doing so, the goal was to try to find fuel sources. That is hopefully uh, deuterium, or uh, materials you could refine into fusion uh, pellets, basically to move the ships around. Hopefully, uh, have a way uh, not to be locked on uh, Mundos. But by all means, you guys could last there for a long time. Food sources are good, options good, all that kind of stuff. But um, you guys took, a, you guys sent some uh, sensors down, some, dro- some of these uh, probes down, got some ideas. I uh, found out some, some weird things about the planet. One is that it seems to have a higher gravity, like 1.5 gravity, where it was suspected it should have 1.2. Okay. Um, furthermore, uh, the other element is that there is, um, the, uh, the, the goal is to try to see what's down below, uh, and in doing so, uh, check for materials, the like, that are, might be usable. Uh, one of the earliest meth, meth uh, materials you found was that there were, like, suppose might be some high methane, some ammonia down down below. Uh, due to the pressure of the ice and the pressure of the gravity, uh, it would be in kind of a weird state, possibly even a triple point. Um, so uh, hopefully, do we do we all know about triple point? Sim, Sim, do you know do you know about triple point? Yeah, man. Well, let's explain, um, explain to the class what triple point <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. So basically, there's. You have your solids, you have your liquids, and you have your gases. Um, and there's thresholds for each of these transition states. Basically, you reach this in a graph. It's it's kind of hard not to have the graph, but like they all kind of make a giant curve. And at one point, you get the triple point where it's like all three temperatures, and then you get into plasma. But yep. basically, it's all about those thresholds and elements, or okay. not elements. So but if like you yeah, phases. so like so like if, if you don't know, like like water boils at different temperatures at different atoms different altitudes because like there's different pressure on it and like gravity guess what it's surprising enough gravity is a pressure and so is air pressure and so is having stuff on top of it and so there's some of the thoughts might be that some of the stuff underneath might be a triple point which basically means it's like going between gas liquid and solid like constantly like it's not right it, it, it's having a it's having a day Right, it's never settling on a state. It's just constantly in flux, yeah. sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. So it, it's it's kind of an unclear. It's unclear which one it is at any one time, to be honest. It's kind of but um, as you guys have seen the after the explosion, the gas off, uh, you can see a geyser, and all of a sudden, your guys' meters are reading. There's lots of methane in the air. Uh, the warnings are going off, saying like, you know, you shouldn't be smoking out here, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> uh, Would we be familiar as belters, just like? Me, like coming across methane, oh, yeah, maybe how to control it. Yeah, yeah, it's it's okay. really common. Um, you guys, I mean, hell, like you probably knew people that specialized in like 
extracting methane from asteroids, like basically fracking okay. asteroids, or um, a lot of the surfaces of the various moons of like Jupiter and Saturn have high methane content. Um, it's, okay. It is not a uh, uncommon thing to find. Uh, okay, so me as a player have no idea, but the player, Waxer hopefully yes. would know more about controlling methane uh, or what to do in the situation well you would know mostly about like it's like transport and containment okay. this is you have neither transport nor containment capabilities <laughs> right now and right. Like, you just like walk there with like a tanker truck and be like oh we're right we just drive yeah. off right it's really easy right we, we just popped the cork off the fucking... for it we got all kinds yeah. of stuff. yeah no but this okay. is like it's like sprouting out as liquid methane and almost like immediately going to boil it goes to a boiling point because the pressure lightens up but like yeah. you can see, like it's like liquid at the bottom, and it's 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 heading around the area. And your guys' meters are going off, saying like there's methane. Now you're not in you're not like in hazard of um, like suffocating on it or something like that too. But mm -hmm. it's it is that the issue is that um, uh, the the issue is that like it uh, if you heat it up, you you could could cause a boom time. Yeah, like it, 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 the whole the whole area kind of just like goes, hey, you know, tunes up. So, uh, so there there is a there is a hazard here by all means. So keeping <laughs> it at a certain temperature, you know, keeping it, yeah, okay. Well, just, yeah, not 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 sparking things up or everything like that. Yeah. Too. So you might want to take some precautions here and there. Um, like, yeah. brother. Now, what the hell did we think we were trying to get? Like, <laughs> so the goal is to go. I mean, we thought it was something solid. We were like in our minds thinking, well, "Oh, we're gonna blow a hole and find some." And that was the goal: know. was to do an exploratory yeah. hole down. And uh, Gaz went pretty deep uh, with the hole. Really went for it, and you guys drilled in and did like a, a very deep exploration versus like a wider exploration. And it, it is an uncommon thing that like underneath uh, ice, you would have like flows of different materials right. uh, captured under there. Especially, um, yeah. So there, there could be like different pockets of stuff down there and everything uh, unleashed. Okay. Things. Yeah. XO, we got we, we got to get out of here, or we got to move back to. It's gonna get real, real unsafe, real fast. I, I say we go back to the ship as fast as we can, anyways, because we've only got what like two hours till three hours until sundown. Yeah. Now we know at least. Uh, what to prepare for if we got to try to actually contain you know contain get it contain it or yeah. whatnot but uh we'll just let it flow for now <laughs> as long as it doesn't get towards us or anywhere near us we'll be okay okay um it, it is all around you i will say that like it is all around you um gaz is a little freaked out about about it uh definitely concerned about the uh explosive nature of what you know essentially yeah. surrounds you now um, and so, by the way, for those at home, uh, Claire's uh, off doing cool ass, cool ass events. Um, but so yeah, you guys uh, kind of are uh, chilling out there. Uh, I have both. Um, We're not chilling. Well, you're not chilling. <laughs> <laughs> Surrounded by a methane lake. Yeah. <laughs> well, you get real hot real quick. We'll say that. Um, the uh, Myrtle and um, Medea, you're both back on the ship, kind of monitoring thing. You can see there's a lot of methane in the air all of a sudden here. Um, they the the problem right now too is that you guys have like survey gear to take samples. It's only going to pretty much sample two things: water and methane. <laughs> like, there's just so much in the air. Like it's a, you guys hit a vein, basically, is what it came down to. So what, what, what do you want? So uh, what do you want to do here, Merle? You want to issue an order or uh, Waxer's recommending? Uh, yeah, you I'm gonna I'm gonna ping uh, Wyatt. Yeah. It's like, hey, uh, so we're getting these readings out here. Um, I'm hoping that you're on your way back. Oh, we are definitely on our way back, and the readings are probably true. We're we're kind of on a, we're hurrying. <laughs> Except so that, we're slowly getting surrounded. So that's <laughs> uh, no, you're you are surrounded. Like there's not, okay. it's not slow. Like, there is no like slowness. No slow. like, right. of this. I don't. I, I I've never heard a geyser described as slow. Uh, <laughs> and then Ralph and Sally, are they holding their shit together, or are they? Uh... Uh, Ralph and Sally are out there. Uh, they're. They were kind of on the back, just watching you guys work and everything. Um, they're seeing this okay. stuff go meters. They're they're fairly calm, but they're like they're not sure what you should be doing. This is not their kind of field. Well, Ralph um, is probably still a little hopped up from those stim packs. Let's yeah, be real. <laughs> yeah, a little hopped stim pack. Yeah. Um, but you do. Um, let's see here how this works. So the issue kind right now is that you guys don't have any samples to bring back. Um, you guys can operate in the methane, but you just have to be careful. 
is kind of what oh, okay. uh, it, gotcha. what it would be. It isn't going to eat through the suits. The suits can like take it. Um, it. I think I think methane's a little. I think it's corrosive to metal, but like not too bad to plastics and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I'd, I'd have to look that up. And our cart is by Ralph and Sally. Like it's yeah, not near. Yeah, yeah, they're all back oh, there, okay. and they have the cart and everything. You have the mech on. Um, you know, ready to deploy. Uh, there are sampling kits. I mean, they can go in and take samples. There is like a lot of rock. The question, the the, the goal of the explosion was to go down into this the bottom of it and pull samples up that were right. deeper. Um, you can you can try to wait for like I mean, there's an option to like wait for like the geyser to like relieve pressure. Um, but definitely should do that. We shouldn't be down there with it. Oh, no, gosh. but we also like, I mean, I guess we can't, we don't know how long that might take, yeah. but it might be a safe move is to not, let's see, yeah, let's see how much comes out. and Or if there's a way, is there a way for us to even like gauge any sensor reading? Like we can tell, like, is it slowing the flow or? Um, I'll have, uh, yeah, everybody here can make a, um, I guess it'd be geology. This be this be a geo I think this would be a geology test. If you have geology or intelligence, if you, if you have it, but which, uh, yeah. where's our geologist? Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll roll for Gaz real quick. Um, okay, Gaz has an idea. Uh, anyone else want to take a shot at it? I got 14 with double fives. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, I got 15 with double threes. Double threes. Okay, what'd you get, Mike? Shit, I got eight. I'm not eight, even gonna no. add whatever. Right. <laughs> no. <laughs> Where do you want to take a shot at it here? Sure. There she uh, is. Gaz is sitting on the ET oh, right now. Oh, six. Uh, great. Okay. Nine. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Yeah, Gaz is sitting there with a with an eighteen on it. Gaz looks at it and thinks that like, it basically tells you that this is not going to let up for like. Uh, there's no real way to tell. It might let up in like an hour. It might let up in like a year. <laughs> uh, there's no way to know how much is down there without like. So basically, we should drill a, a hole somewhere else. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling. Do we have the samples from the probe we dropped? Um, yeah, the probe is there. Yeah, you guys can pull the samples. The samples out the probe. Yeah, the probe. It, yeah, it's its sure. samples are pretty narrow. Yeah. They only go down like maybe two feet. Um, they're like they're like core bores. You know, what I'm talking about the core bores, like the ice yeah. bores. They're like that, mm -hmm. but they only go down about two feet. They're not like traditional bigger bores would be like you know, 10 feet, 12 feet long. Uh, this thing's just meant to do quick samples and then it's, you know, it's self-contained. It does a lot of work, it's a lot of different things, but nothing really. Great. I mean, we have a sample. You do have some so. samples, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, and, uh, looking at the geyser, how dangerous would it be to get close to that? Like, um, it isn't, is so it, 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 it's blowing oh, yeah. out. How, how close what? Like how close can we get, can we get in there you to get, get a sample, you, get, or is it... you think you could get within about like, like a meter of it safely? Um, it's the problem is that like reaching into it could be dangerous, and also like you need to make sure you don't basically have anything on you that's going to make it like combust. Because you're you're gonna. I mean, XO, uh, maybe um, Mech, you know, we could always. I mean, there's rocks around. Maybe we could unlodge one and try to plug up the geyser. <laughs> I have the mech suit on. <laughs> we could throw I, a lot of rocks. I don't know, our scientist doesn't look so confident <laughs> in this solution. <laughs> I love it. I say it's a great idea, but I maybe mean, we it must be because she's, she's totally losing it off screen. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we check with the... Uh, I mean, you guys can hear us, I'm, I'm assuming, on the ship, so I'm kind of <laughs> Always like, an open uh, channel. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Um, uh, what what's uh what's uh what bad uh, can happen uh boss man uh, or, uh up there we throw some uh moon rocks and uh big boulders try to plug this thing up yeah plug up a gas geyser you know just like let it internally combust you know blow up the entire planet like destroy any sense of life that was even like starting to form no so baby, you think no maybe baby. bad idea <laughs> maybe, maybe maybe just like so a great. little bit of a last option maybe all right uh maybe we drop a big rock when we're up in the ship <laughs> well the way i figure it you're being cautious so then we should probably listen <laughs> <laughs> yeah just saying i feel like maybe it, all right i mean it's your call like so i mean Maybe too dangerous to reach deeper. We could. I have the mech suit, but there's probably a lot of stuff on this that's gonna be 
uh, you know, the, boom boom compatible. The, yeah, the mech suit has a lot of electronics in it, and the worry yeah. would be like having like a spark from like yeah. one of the electronics like jump and then suddenly ignite the whole thing. Maybe we just get our samples and uh, we, yeah, we, we get off and find a new place later. Because we only got two hours left anyways too, right? Clock yeah. is ticking. I mean, I'm willing to go into the hole a little bit if you want to like tie me off and... Hey, you know, are you like doing okay, good enough to do that? Like, <laughs> we can always put more limbs on you after else. Else. Yeah, you you do pick up uh, Medea that like his like heart, like everyone's got a heart rate up a little bit. They can, they know there's a hazard. Um, mm -hmm. you know, but like vitals are coming back. I don't okay, know. Let's, I mean, let's find out how good the vitals are coming back. Uh, give me a stamina test there, uh, <laughs> Wyatt. Well, I just want to say that I did give Wyatt One a stim pack right before we ended. Oh, and so he might be feeling a little twitchy. So I don't that's know. That's probably why. That's probably why he's volunteering. He's yeah. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. Like, I don't right. know how cautious <laughs> yeah. and like graceful he's feeling. What right would you, now. What'd you get, uh, Scott? <laughs> I, I rolled. 14 total, but I don't know what As I add. Constitution or stamina? Constitution. Yeah. Uh, then I'll add two. So 16. 16 okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you're doing okay. Like, it, you're, you're bre his breathing's okay. He's solid. He's not, like, freaking out. Okay. Um, All right. Well, I would put some kind of, like, yeah, harness on you or some way where if he goes and does it, I, we can just, like... Yeah, you guys have, like, a winch. There's, like, a basic... Yeah. There's, like a, there's, like, a basic winch on the thing. You can strap him up real quick. Harness them we'll strap quick. it definitely to your uh, bionic part. So that yeah. way, you know, there, don't hurt your actual yeah, the, human um, part. The, 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 the vac suits do have, like, harnesses already built on them, so, like, you don't have to, like, harness them up. You just kind of Perfect. strap a, you know, you get, like, the little, what do they call it? Uh, like a little grapple thing. Grapple thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just kind of put that on there like you would, and then he just hooks on, he's good to go. So. I mean, if we do it to the mech suit, at least it's heavier than my regular, you know what I mean, versus pulling me down with you if you, something happens. We can yeah, tie I mean, it off to the, the cart. Is just bring the explosives yeah, and the, all the supplies. The, 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 the cart does have a winch on it. So you can certainly okay. use that if you want to. It's not a great yeah, winch, but it'll, it'll support somebody for sure. You're not going to be able like, to pull a spaceship out of like the, you know, the dug in, but it'll... Yeah. Let's do that, and we'll have Ralph and Sally kind of spot that. Okay. All right, they'll keep I mean, on. Yeah, wrong, that's a line. Yeah, they know how they know how to um they know how to operate the winch. It's, it's not that complicated. All right, so uh we we get we're getting the uh, I'm nervous strapped. for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll strap in uh, here and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, since we didn't do it earlier, we'll go ahead and let our guests do it. Uh, then Ryan, would you roll a d6 for us? I would our, love to. Our churn test here for the day. Uh oh, oh <laughs> good. Come on, don't do, don't do us dirty. You okay. got a three. Okay, well, we, get a, we get a minor turn event. Nice. Yippee. I mean, they're always fun. They, they can be. They can be. No. Especially when you're not <laughs> the one who's strapped into a commitment. <laughs> yeah. yeah. When you're, you're, you're not the one who's like, you know. Going down. Or... Yeah, you know. <laughs> Um, Face first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Looks like we're growing another limb for you, Wyatt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully, here. we got the technology now. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, Wyatt, you, you start getting kind of alert, uh, lowered into the whole thing here. Um, back on the on the ship, uh, Merle and Medea, the, uh, is there anything else you want to look at, Medea, besides watching them put this man down a hole, or? <laughs> I mean, I just want to keep monitoring everyone's vitals. I mean, he is being dropped into a gaseous hole full of toxic... <laughs> corrosive gas okay. so i feel like i should probably like keep an eye on him and his vitals make sure nothing overheats and everything goes pew. <laughs> if that's what you want to do uh, what about you myrtle um i'm just gonna kind of really watch what's going on i don't really you know i'm i'm actually just trying to learn about this science real quick about how this is going to work <laughs> and uh wondering how we're going to get him out quickly if we have to Okay. Um, but we, you know, I mean, Waxer's a big guy. Mm -hmm. That he is. That he is. So that's that's. I'm I'm just hoping that uh, <laughs> nothing goes wrong and that I have the next suit does too. go wrong. You can get it, get him out of there. Yeah. Well, at least a part of him. Yeah, at least <laughs> part of him. <laughs> the sample, maybe. All right. um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. So what? You go on down there and you have like your sample collector, it, the science stick, as they call it. Um, it's got like a little thing to kind of like, um, it can basically, 
uh, bore into the ice, grab a bore, then pull it out. Um, the question really is how many samples do you want to try to grab? And these are like, these are only like two foot long samples, they're not big samples. And how deep do you want to go to, when you get the samples? I'm going to go for one really deep one, as deep as I can go safely. Okay. It feels like it's starting to get hazardous, then I'll stop. Okay. All right, so you kind of assess the situation, like you're going to basically climb down it is what you're really doing. Like you're going to kind of like shimmy down it a little bit. The hole's pretty good size. Like, I mean, you can you can reach each side of it. It went, it went deeper than it did wide. So you can kind of shimmy down it a little bit and then like support yourself with your legs basically and like, you know, do your do your quick board job. So, all right, we'll see how far you can get down here. Um, back on the ship, um, Anders kind of chimes in. Um, and uh, he goes, hey, Cap, uh, take a look at this. All righty. And Andrew's is part of the survey team. He's the, the uh, he's yep. not a geologist, but he's a, uh, kind of helps um, get you, get you kind of, get you kind of settled on like, what the landscape is. And he, he take a look at this. He pulls up like the numbers of the probe they're near, the one that they, they, that they went to go retrieve. And you have the other probe, which you guys uh, decided not to go check out as much. And he's like, take a look at these pressure readings. He's showing you like, pressure readings on each one. And uh, they, there's like, they're slightly different. Like there are slightly different pressure reg- readings, like like uh, not too much. Uh, do you want to take a shot at me? Like, like, do you want to do some science here to see if you can figure out what the difference is? Because he's not pointing yeah. out to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, give me, um, what would this be? Uh, I don't know, this is probably like physics, so it's intelligence. All right. Physics. Uh, six, six, six. Yeah. yeah there you go, there you go. I rolled three sixes. All right. Woo. Nice. Plus so, three. So you you dig through it and you you actually like catch it pretty quick. Um, there seems one thing that's kind of thrown you. It, it, it is weird. Um, they're both like reporting really similar like atmospheric compositions. Kind of like the initial like samples they took are very are similar. The difference is that one of them's reading essentially like a higher pressure than the other and looking through the information the only thing that would make like that's like different between the two is one seems to be registering a higher gravity than the other the one they're near they're, they're nearby seems to be registering a higher gravity a gravitational pull than the other one's uh, registering and he's like um, and he's kind of looking at this he's like this shouldn't be possible like like the the gravity should be uniform across the planet but this one's like mildly higher is that just like where the the vent is? It's not the vent. It, it has to do with I don't know what like the vent wouldn't cause that like that kind of fluctuation. Right. I don't know if it's just like that side of the planet's like the it, it could be a difference of their altitude like to the core like they're, they're how far they are right, from the actual right, right. core of the planet. Um, like because you're like you know you're you're like, if you're on top of Mount Everest you're like technically lighter than you are you know closer down. Um, or like he's like, or there's like a higher density of materials in that area, or something. But like, I don't think the planet's quite as round as we thought it was, or as evenly distributed as we thought it was. That's weird. Um, it is. It's uh, more <laughs> gravity. What's up? More there's, gravity. Uh, they're in the part that has higher gravity. So remember how they, they said like initially they thought the planet would have like one point two Gs, right? And then you guys went to the one section it's like 1.5 right. and because all the calculations you know using newtonian physics all that shit all the numbers lie up and say 1.2 g's for this place he gets on it it's 1.5 something weird if it happens right but now they're seeing that like the 1.2 actually wasn't wrong it's just not uniform across the planet right 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 interesting uh medea you want to you want you hear you can yeah, hear because you can hear me going that's weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll take a little glance. Take a glance. Um, they pointed out real quick that the, there's a difference yeah, in, in the, the um, gravitational I mean, dilation. I'm not going to say physics is my strong suit, but um, mass does have a big influence on gravity. <laughs> so, you know, um, these lower um, gravitational readings could mean that the planet underneath is a little more hollow. There's less mass underneath the surface where we're getting the higher ones. There's probably like denser material under. So, so 
So, um, Andrews kind of takes a second, like, he asks the Sinclair to, like, re like render, like, what, like, the gravitational fields look like, and then use that to, like, or based on the data they have, and try to, like, render, like, some differences. And the, the, the planet kind of, he kind of comes back with a rendering that looks, it looks like a bean, it's kind of a bean shape, you know? Um, kind of like, you know, like, like a kidney bean type thing. And, um, he's like, yeah, there's some sort of uneven distribution of the mass of this place. I, it looks round, I mean, everything from out, outside looks round, but, like, density-wise, it's not evenly distributed. So he's yeah, like, so. yeah, it's either, he's like, it's either, like, not, like, basically the mass inside the, the planet's not evenly distributed. And that takes a long time to occur. Uh, what we've been told is that these, these plant, like, you know, the builders, basically the aliens that, like, came in and re-geoengineered these solar systems, have only been dead for, like, you know, two and a half billion years. Um... I mean, the planet wouldn't settle in that time, so maybe they did something to this thing too. We just can't see it. Are they hiding stuff under the surface? Hide stuff. I mean, that's sort of if weird you project. have, yeah. I mean, if you have high density, I'm assuming we just drilled into the lower density, the gaseous methane like gorge. But you know, if we, we might be able to find something in those higher density areas. Yeah, and he's you know, all that's what's throwing us off. If the the initial thought was that, like, if the if the if the gravity is suddenly higher here, that means that like the core is made out of something heavier than like traditionally iron or nickel. It could be some really rare stuff, and that's extremely valuable. Like, if we ever get out of here, like, we'll be. He's basically like he kind of looks at you, Medina. He's like, if we ever get out of here, like, I mean, we'll be billionaires type thing. I mean, you know, well, why not? Right. we got to play on this. Really? Like, it's, it's, it's a <laughs> lot of minerals, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, you're going to be able to set up the lab of your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> uh, heaven knows I've earned ethics, it. Ethics be damned. Uh, <laughs> I'll pay you. I can pay for the law. Yeah. Right, uh, I'm going to send some of this down, kind of like a synopsis okay. um, to the team down on the planet um, and kind of give them this information. And, you know, maybe we should look elsewhere or see what we can find. All right, well, I want to uh, maybe well, move on a little bit. You know, that, that, that's a great idea, Myrtle, but why don't we get uh, Wyatt out of the pit first? Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> after this happens, <laughs> like, y'all come on up and we're going to do this. You know we'll make sure everything's that good. Whole, and that, then that whole methane whole spelunking thing, man. You know, I got a better idea. <laughs> uh, yeah, get, uh, no, yeah. I, I'm ready right. for him to have, be out of um, there and, yeah, and come so, up here and we can discuss this. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you kind of look at, you, you get ready to give, uh, you know, why some new orders, and you kind of realize he's already halfway down this thing. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, um, yeah. Yeah, it might be kind of uh, bad for morale. Uh, but he, yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, you're telling us we're at the wrong place now. <laughs> not, the, not the right thing. Um, but why, you're, you kind of, uh, you, you, you grab, you, you have the strap on, you can feel, you, you can feel like the, the harness on, you can, the, they have two, um, Kind of like basically pulleys on you and everything like that too. It's all it's all snug. Um, you come up to the thing. It's kind of it's gushing out like it's going liquid and going like uh, basically like gas pretty quick. Uh, normally methane's pretty like like clear, but because it's so cold here, you can kind of see it in the air. Like 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 you can see some of it kind of like it's so dense. Like you can see it in the air to some degree. Um, but yeah, you approach it uh, very carefully and you're looking down the hole. Uh, and you can kind of see, like, you can fit down it. Like, you can, it'll push you back a little bit, but you can certainly fit down the hole. Um, you're not, and you're, you're not sure if it would, you don't, you think maybe under normal circumstances it might, like, you know, shoot you out like a gun, like, there's this pressure, you know, pushing out, you got stuck in that, you, you'd be like Augustus Galoop and Willy Wonka and you'd get shot up the freaking tube or something. <laughs> but, um, but, um, but because of the gravity, it actually might, like, uh, the climb's gonna be kind of tricky and it actually, you might be able to, Make it past the pressure that's being released. I'll I'll try that. All right, All right. Uh, give me a climb check. <laughs> oh, oh boy! Climb. Don't, did, oh boy! Did you take climb? Oh. You're rolling better already so. than last um, last okay. week. Oh so, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Try, let's try. Let's see. There's real strength, yeah. If you if you guys you can do it. You can do it. You got it. You got it. Uh, Thirteen. 
Does fortune. he get any sort of advantage? Fortune. You fortune. know, like yeah, fortune. Gonna, he has the stim packs. You're gonna need a um a nice, bit higher nice. than that due to the gravity. Uh, you're gonna need to get to a 15. So can you push that up by two? Do you have a do you have a what's your oh number? yeah? Because I have a one okay, one of my so dice. Yeah, you go to push it to a three spend three fortune. All right. Um, you you go ahead and you start kind of like clamoring down a little bit here. Uh, you can feel the pressure pushing on the suit. Like you can feel the pressure through the suit. Like you can feel it like pushing against the suit pushing against your skin. Um, the suit does come up and like give you some warnings about like out external uh, environment, basically saying that, like this is a dangerous environment to be in. Please, like you know, don't uh, <laughs> you know, or get a higher rated uh... get a higher rated suit type thing, you know. Um, but yeah, you you do climb down like maybe like you you get down like uh, about halfway to the waist here. You're kind of you're kind of like uh, shimming down it. Um, do you want to go down further? No, this no. is probably okay. about until the right. same. So, so you're about like shoulder shoulder deep in it, and um, you go ahead and uh, you have like the sampler set here and everything like that too. Um, honestly, this isn't much deeper than you got with the with the uh, the, the uh, probes. This isn't good. Oh, so it's about that. Oh. It's not much. Oh. You're not that deep into the hole. I mean, you're like you're like this deep and like the you could you could be on the surface of the place and uh, put a bore in deeper than this right now. I'll go a little deeper. Go deeper. All right, so you climb now a little further. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Waxer, you see, um, you see his head kind of disappear below the, the edge of the hole, and you can see the gut, the gusher coming out. Um, it is you, you. Your suit does come up, telling you that it's actually very cold down here. That like the 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 coldness because of the methane being in, like liquid form. It's it's cold down here. Basically, you're getting blasted. Would any of the methane just be crystallized at this point? Um, I think it freezes a little. Like. It, it, it freezes in cold yeah, temperatures. Yeah, it, some of it's, it's hitting your, some of it is hitting your suit that like you can hear like it's not like like ice cubes, but it's like little like pieces of frozen pieces. But uh, the pressure the, the pressure is so high that it's like mostly liquid coming out, like, okay. uh, being liquefied by the pressure coming out. But you do see like it, you can see some of it crystallizing on your gloves here and there, by all means. So the, the, you do feel like the cold and everything is like is your you are getting cold. I will say, uh, it is going yeah, beyond suit's capabilities. Yeah. Um, Are you okay down there, XO? Yeah, uh, I, I'm losing uh, I, uh, sight. I'm still, I'm still kicking. We're still good. Okay. Um, All right. Give me another climb test. <laughs> Boy. Fifteen, sixteen. Yay! Sixteen. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm rolling really well, but my stats are low and strength. <laughs> <laughs> So you go down. You said you said sixteen. Yes. Okay. Uh, you manage to you get you kind of get your grips. And you kind of have an idea of what the area is like now. Uh, it's really hard to see, but you're feeling it out. Kind of feeling how like the the hole is in here. I mean, it actually, is a pretty evenly blown hole due to the um, due to the explosive charges and everything. Uh, but you get a bit further down. You're probably down now, like two like two three meters is what you think. Uh, you're definitely in over your head. No pun intended, but you are. <laughs> and um, you can, uh, you might be able to get better core samples here, but they're still not that deep. Like they're, the hole, you, the, based on what Gas said, the hole should probably go close to like, it should be blown down close to like 10, 15 meters, but you're like barely in it, honestly. You're like a fifth of the way into it. So you can try to go deeper if you want to, but it's up to you. I'm gonna go just a little bit deeper. <laughs> All right, I like it. Push that line. Nice, button. dude. Right. Yeah, yeah lucky. Uh, go yeah. ahead and give me that. Um, give me that God, climb test. Oh, I hope shit. it's not death by methane. I got two ones and a three, so oh. five. Five plus six two. Total. Six total. Six total. Six total. Yeah. Use all your fortune. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, all of it. So Use most, my fortune. At most, you can push it up to a eleven. You get extra plus, but that's not good enough. So. If uh -huh. I inject him with another stim pack, does he get any sort of help whatsoever? We'll get to that. Uh, it's a possibility. <laughs> I'm uh, gonna need that. Okay, um, the wind starts like wheeling and you can see him uh, wax or uh, Ralph and Sally like, oh shit. And like uh, Ralph goes and clicks like uh, clicks over. Yeah. Um, as you do fall through it a little bit here, um, Wyatt, you do take a little bit of damage. Uh, this will be a whopping, um, actually yeah, this will be a bigger hazard. Uh, you take 13 fortune damage, so you, you subtract. You, you do subtract your your armor and your toughness and everything. Oh, so nice. You, you do subtract your toughness from that, but like 13 still. Um, so you go. Skin. What's that? 
Sorry, I was doing math in my head. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you do kind of you guys see him tumble. You do hit against the sides a little bit as you're as you're coming down. The good news is oh. that you don't fall quite as hard as you thought you would because the methane is pushing you up <laughs> to some degree. <laughs> it is kind of, it, it does cushion your fall to some degree. Yeah, yeah. It, it would do that, but the gravity is a lot higher, so it does kind of hurt. Um, but what, uh, what's your fortune at? What do you got, man? Uh, six. Six. Okay. <laughs> All right. So How you're, you feeling? You're, you're suddenly hanging there, like you're, <laughs> you're you're actually just hanging in the um in the place right now, right? The winch kicked in and prevented you from falling further into it. Uh, Ralph and Sally are on the on the horn to go go. Hey, XO, we'll pull you up if you just say the word. We'll get you pulled up. You there, Wyatt? You there? I, I'm here, but just just hold on. Let me see if I could find anywhere to drill into All real right. quick. Uh, you see and some? Getting, of, yeah. You kind of oh, feel shit. along the sides, and you can feel that there's like you know the side wall, and you have the you have like the bore. You can go and try to bore a little bit here. Yeah. I'm not gonna go any further. <laughs> I'll just yeah. go. <laughs> yeah, and right now the things tell they're telling you that you're about like eight meters down. Like you you fell a ways. Um you go ahead and do the you do a quick bore, you have one a deeper bore sample. Do you want to do any more on the other because you can do them on the other sides of the I mean the thing it's a round hole, you can do on different sides. Well where I just uh drilled into, is anything coming out? Is it just no. solid? No, okay. it then looks yeah, like the the meth the, the basically the the vein of methane is like probably like at the bottom of this so it's got to be a their their thing is probably like um probably like like 17 meters down but the the blast went down 15 meters and then the methane just pushed through that last two meters because mm -hmm. the pressure of it so like it's pretty um uh you don't know how far down the hole goes but gaz is telling you that she knows it goes down at least 15 meters but it probably goes deeper dude there's probably like now like a giant you know, aquifer of methane. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll get one more sample at least on the opposite. I, I will say this: like wax or uh, you're you are you know how much like methane gas is worth to, like people like back home, and like you're literally watching like millions of dollars go up in the sky <laughs> out of this place like like every minute like it's just like a million dollars of methane uh, every minute. It's just, Spout. Oh, price. yeah. I'd be like, yeah. oh, you couldn't it, it, believe it. It's, it's hard to watch. Like, you you have friends you know that, like, lost limbs trying to get, like, methane, much less methane than this. It's just like, you're just. So, what happens when like, you, yeah, what do you, happens when you send a Martian down to get Yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're just watching like tons and tons oh. of like of materials. Yeah, it's like it's like watching someone like you know bathe in gas gasoline, just like pour out. <laughs> yeah. the yeah, you but um, uh, yeah, you do get a second sample there, uh, Wyatt. You do bore another sample off there, um, and uh, uh, like uh, Sally, Sally comes in the comments. Hey, XO, hey, we're gonna pull you up right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, that's fine. Right, we're yeah, pulling, I get we're pulling you up. We're okay. good. She, and um, they start pulling you up. Okay. Uh, Waxer, what do you want to be doing while this is happening? Myrtle and Medea, do you? Yeah. Is there any way that I can actually help, like, you know, like... You can, I mean, like, guide the rope in. Like, you can okay. kind of do, like... So it, it makes it easier. Uh, check it for, like, uh, stuff. Um, you, you're pulling you're pulling um, him up here. And everything. Do you want to use the mech suit for this, or do you want to do it by hand? Uh, I think I would do it... Well... What would spark less like, you know, create any the spark, you know, a chance of spark stuff? I will say that because it, it's okay. Yeah, it's, I'll use my hands then. Okay, yeah. So, you're, so you have the Mexico hold it up and you're kind of like wheeling it in. Mm -hmm. You have big gloves on here and everything. Um, one thing you notice in it is that you, you start seeing that the the rope you guys used is like soaked in methane. Oh, shit. OK, um, I'll definitely mention that. I'd be like, uh, yeah, I'll just kind of mention that to uh, Ralph and Sally, be careful. Like, yeah, this the whole thing is dripping with methane. Uh, and so then, am uh, I. So it's it's. it's okay. <laughs> um, well, the, 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 you're not wearing absorbent material is the difference. Like the rope is true. absorbent, but like you're wearing like basically like plastic gear, like like safety. So gear. I think uh, I'm gonna look for when I as soon as I can see why it, and then once we get them up, I'm just gonna like detach them immediately. So that way, if anything blows up, I mean, sadly, it'll be Ralph and Sally in the cart. Okay. <laughs> The what? That causes, you know. But... <laughs> That's a good sound effect. That's actually really good. Yeah. Like, I'm, you know, I was like, I, I was, yeah, that was actually very impressive here. Um, yes. So uh, just to be clear, I, methane is not corrosive to aluminum alloys or carbon steel. That's okay. good. That's good to know. Um, it is good to know. But uh, those also are things that could spark. So, <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, um, right. So, but yeah, you 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 go and you pull up here, and um, 
you get on up, uh, why give me a climb check when you get to the top, unless you want them just to pull you out purely and just like. I mean, if I can reach and kind of pull him up, I method. Yeah, the yeah. by the back of his neck. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. I won't fight it. Yeah, I won't pull me away. Right. So you come on up, uh, you kind of limp it up, and, and you get pulled up by Waxor. Uh, you have like the the core samples, which are now like in these like aluminum tubes and everything. Uh, they're completely sealed up and everything. Um, you can see that like your gear like is. Um, it, it's in decent shape, but like you're gonna want to wash it for sure. Or something. You're probably gonna hose it down or something. Maybe not bring it into the atmosphere on the ship. You might want to leave it in yeah. an airlock or something. You know, uh, leave it out, to, leave it out in the yard type of thing, right? Uh, you got you got kids. You know how it is, right? Uh, <laughs> you're, not, you're not wearing that back in the house, buddy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, <laughs> shoes are off, sir. Uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah, that kind of thing. But yeah, you get out and, uh, it, yeah, it took a toll on you, man. You're, you're like feeling pretty bad. You can see that like his vitals are coming back, that he's, he's like, he's on the brink of like exhaustion. Like, uh, that yeah. was pretty brutal to him. So we got a long walk back still. We yeah. have a very long walk we'll go, back. We're just going to have to throw him in the car if we can, or At yeah. At this point. Mm-hmm. That's I extra gotta, weight gotta, to carry back though. And I gotta carry the drone or the yeah the, the samples. Yeah. yeah, you can get. I mean, if you get oh, far enough, if you get far enough from the place, you can walk back in the mech. Um, it's okay. a matter. You don't want to start. You're kind of yeah. way activated. So proximity. Yeah. Oh right. Uh, yeah. Because the the methane like it, it 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 goes down like beyond exponentially as you get away from the hole. Like when you're if you're mm-hmm. within like you know 20 meters, you may not want to do it. But once you're like you know half a kilometer out, it's like. Ah, I think, uh, I think yeah. Me- yeah, methane has to be like so dense in the air for it to like ignite or something like that. So it's, it's Axel, like, you're extremely brave and extremely stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I vote stupid. But uh hey, that was we almost did. really bad. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. And uh yeah. Alright. Gaz a little disappointed. Um yeah, yeah, you know, you can tell that Gaz was like hoping this would like be a hole you guys could really like go through and explore and like do stuff but yeah. so you can tell she feels kinda of bad that like not that she hit methane, but it's like, shit, like, that's a waste, and like, we could have used that, we could have brought a capture device back here or something. Don't so. worry, now we know, Copang, yeah, now we know. Yeah. Nobody yeah. dies, so it's it's not a failure. Yeah, a lot of credits floating through the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, got no one to sell to right now anyway. It's true. So. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, Ralph, Ralph and Sally, though, uh, they um, they actually do uh, they take the spool of the rope that they were using and they just like leave it. Yeah, yeah. They're, that's not that's definitely not coming back on the ship. Uh, like, um, uh, They're so smart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's definitely yeah. It's basically prime accord now. For those who don't know what prime accord is, go look at prime accord yep. sometime. That's uh, it's it's basically just detonation cord. Like you just strap it something, and you rip a hole through the. It's great for ripping open <laughs> ships if you need to rip open a piece of metal, but. Um, yeah, it's, it's like definitely not a uh, something you would want to bring back with you. Um, but yeah, they, you guys come on back. It takes you guys a little while to get back, but you do. Um, give me a. I need I need the the two of you on the ground making a stamina test. Either Ralph and Sally do, and okay. they're it's getting to a little bit. What you get, Waxer? Ooh, okay, Waxer. I got uh, six, twelve, and con tw- uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Okay, Waxer's holding down. What about you, there, Wyatt? 11. 11. Oh, why? Wow. are back. Why? 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 Just use uh, just use all your fortune. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> why? Oh you you uh, you take seven points of fortune damage. It's penetrating. Oh. It's penetrating, so your armor doesn't apply to this. Oh. You don't okay, get so I'm you. out of fortune. Yeah. So, you're gonna, so you have to. Um, so what's interesting is that in the game is that you don't necessarily like if it's like if it's actual damage, like like right. you're being shot at, then it's actually like, you have to take a wound or injury. But you can actually take what's called um, like fatigue. Nice. Which are kind of like a wound injury, but you won't like die. You'll just like pass that off. And it'll eventually I mean, go it, away. Yeah, it all eventually goes away, but like, yeah. um, you, you kind of, you have to oh, go. I mean, does my medic mastery anything yeah, I can do? Your medic, your, it says can alleviate effects of exhaustion. Yeah, you can, yeah. Uh, the problem yeah. is that you need to have access to his body. Damn it. <laughs> Let me see your body. Let me get access to your body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just uh, hey, pop that helmet off real quick, bud. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. So I'll uh, say why it just takes a few steps and then just collapses on yeah. the ground. Um, so, uh, Medea, you do see his vital start like like 
like he started having trouble like moving around and everything like the gravity's getting to to wyatt yeah um, you can stim him which will prevent it but there's also the chance that it might hurt him like the recovery time would increase type thing yeah Honestly, at this point, I'm thinking of giving him a tranquilizer so that someone else can carry him back. Wow, I'm actually surprised. I thought Medea would totally risk it. <laughs> well, I'll but save the good. experiments for on the ship where I have access. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So wanna, Not letting wanna... anyone else do my work for me. So you're saying you want to knock him out? Yes. <laughs> I was not. Right. I was. I was not ready for you to do that. Honestly, I. I, 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 I love it. It's like, even you know, better. Surprise! You live surprise. to surprise. Surprise! Yeah, surprise no, 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 you have even better. It's, it's nice to be surprised once in a while. It really is. Um, I do appreciate. Why that. going down that hole didn't surprise you? <laughs> <laughs> that you just kept going. Me. Why, yeah, I guess it did. Why it doing shit that's like? I can't send other people to do it. Yeah, like why, right. why it put, exactly. Why it put his body on the line is not like uncommon. It's right, it's a, true. Uh, it's true. It, it's, it's not true. unique to to the situation. We'll say here. <laughs> um, okay, so I believe it's fatigue. Let me go check. The, I haven't used fatigue for a while. Um, yeah, basically, you can't run. Is you can't charge people and you can't run. That's all you really can't do. With it. You're, you're oh, not that's like, good. It's not that bad, but like that's um, better than I thought. Yeah, yeah so exhaustion, maybe I don't knock you out. Exhaustion where bad. you can't like it. So yeah, you do see him <laughs> hopping and panting. Um, but you're like not like uh, hey. his heart rate. In up that less. case, a stim pack can't hurt that bad, right? <laughs> no, whoops, my finger slipped. Oopsies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to push him on it, but yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you, uh, why you, you do manage to kind of walk back. It takes you guys a while on, on the trip back here. Gaz is back okay. Um, the ship is um, there. Uh, you know, the, the ramps laid out and everything. That's you guys can climb up in the ship, get in the airlock, and go through decontamination and everything. Um, they, uh, they, Ralph and Sally uh, start like folding up the, uh, the cart. They start like just taking parts off of it. They do have the samples. Um, they do have the, uh, the probe, um, loaded onto it. The water heater, as it was, we, we call it basically. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It looks like a fucking water heater like it does. It's just, <laughs> if you, if you go, go look at most satellites. Like go look at photos of sat like actual satellites go on Earth. They look like freaking water heaters with like wings. Um, they're <laughs> water heaters. They're water heater angels. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted, I knew that one would make uh, I knew that would make Donna smile. I knew that one would make Donna yeah. smile. Water heater angels. Uh, that's, that's bizarre. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like I'm I'm a little I'm a little caffeinated, guys. I, I started. Are you are you saying mine bizarre? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying is you have you have eclectic taste and you enjoy bizarre things. Mm-hmm. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Water heater angels. Sorry. So you um they they kind of de they like Ralph and Sally are on the outside dismantling the um. The car trying to break it down. Uh, Waxer, you're the one that can lift the uh, the probe quite easily and bring it into the ship for decontamination and everything. Um, what else do you guys want to? Uh, Medea uh, and Myrtle, and then the rest of the uh, the crew of the Sinclair here. Uh, is there anything you guys want to do? Like as they come back on the ship or check on or? Well, I'm Medea's to starting to rest. take her medic position very seriously, okay. and she's going to go chase after Wyatt until he lets her check him out. And then I'm going to remind everyone we have to, like, decontamp, like, basically like, hose him off and just mm -hmm. make sure none of us have any of this shit on us when we get, on, okay. get close. Definitely. Um, you go through, like, you guys go through the full procedures, like, a little more precision than you normally do with, like, the airlock and everything. Uh, you have to go through several cycles to get everything on, on board anyways. Um, the cart's like a whole, that's a whole production. Uh, Waxer's his own production to bring on this, this, this thing's pretty massive. Uh, but you do manage to bring on everything. Um, Wyatt, uh, you get on board and you, you, you know, you're, you're stripped down to like, basically you're like, um, and you have like your, your, uh, flight suit on, you have your, your mag boots on again and everything that too. So you're back to your normal gear. Uh, Ralph and Sally are outside working. Gaz is, um, uh, helping out Ralph and Sally outside too. But yeah, uh, Medea says they. Uh, Medea says she wants to check you over, give you a quick little physical or something like that. I won't fight it this time. Okay. I I don't feel the greatest, so. Right. So you guys, you guys go. Uh, do you want to go to the med bay or do you want to do it in the? Because the med bay is up a level, so you have to climb up. You have to go if he can make it to the med bay, I prefer it's that, it. It's not that hard. It's, it, the med bay is mostly know, like, like, like <laughs> the way right. the ship works is that there's a there's a ladder that goes through the whole ship. But it was like a lift on that ladder, so you can actually ride the lift up and down. Oh, and okay, he's it, fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll be able to make that. 
Yeah, so you guys, you guys go to, you guys go to the galley through the into the med bay. Uh, the med bay is there. Okay. The med bay is pretty well stocked still. Um, there's still a lot okay. of like, like like the drugs and everything that you. Uh, there's a chem deck in there, so if you need to synthesize certain like drugs, you can within reason. Perfect. Um, Exciting. Okay, I'll just do a quick like check over. I don't know no. if I need to roll for that, a, but just yeah, like give me, a, give me a medicine check. Let's yes. Woohoo! Let's see. Here's where my injury comes in. Okay, so that's <laughs> yeah. twelve plus six, which is eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um. So you, you check him out and. Uh, yeah, he's got some bruising uh, where he slammed okay. across the place. Um, you can see he is pretty beat up um, in terms of like the climb and everything. You can see where the harness, like certainly, like you know, uh, we'll say, was a very tight like, like harness. Like it, it did its job. Where he's got like bruise yeah. lines around his like sh- you know his shoulders yeah. here and by his like legs and everything. Um, Definitely. Aside from the bruising, you you don't see anything like wrong with him. He is fatigued, like he needs like maybe like a uh, some bed rest or something like that. He's not. It's not like just rehydrate and like give him some food, some tea. But none of yeah. it's like he needs drugs. It's just like, bro, you need to take a day off. Like, it's, okay. It's, now that now that uh-huh. I want to be clear, that is what the medical association would advise in general. <laughs> I don't know what Medea would it be. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. The arm's got, As the other, it is. The other you have two go options. <laughs> you have two options. You can spend an entire day waste. You can waste an entire day sitting in bed. Not a great option. Or you could test out this new simulant I got. You know, I've been working up a little something. It's kind of like a pick me up, pepper up sort of thing. Easy. I don't know, but. Seems a little time efficient, if you ask me. Are you a me. drug dealer or a doctor? What's the difference? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Well, I don't think I could be down for a whole day, so... That, like. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, I mean, okay. as, this, as this, like, stimulant that she's been synthesizing and wanting to try out... It's a Dr. Cool. Feelgood, she's Dr. Feelgood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, can little, I say? A little, little prototype okay. Uh, yeah, so you do, uh, okay, so, um, I don't believe we've discussed this statement before, uh, Simriah, like, no. um, so let's go ahead. This is our little secret. This, this, yeah, it's, it's, it's Mommy's Little Helper. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, give me a, um, jeez, I'm trying to think of a roll here. Uh, Sim, give me a medicine check. Like, okay. Let's see, let's see how you That's... did like synthesizing this, basically. Um... That's a nineteen. Okay. Uh, this is good fucking shit. Let me say. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you go ahead and you um, you take the stimulant, and it does alleviate your fatigue. Um, you do feel more lucid. Uh, th- th- what, what kind of a, what did you want the thing to do, uh, Badia? I guess that's my question. Like, what should it do to the human body? Uh-oh. Well, I'm so glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, it's just gonna help your blood. It's gonna help your hump part, your heart pump a little faster, get the blood flowing a lot quicker to all your body parts. You know, those bruises where the blood is rushing instead of like. Instead of clumping up with the bruise, it's going to start spreading out, promote the healing process, all that good stuff. I saw the meditation. Don't don't forget, uh, Samurai, you have that med- you have that doctor specialty. You get a reroll of ones and twos on medicine checks. I did not get any ones or twos okay. on yeah. that. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you're a pro. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, what can uh, I say? <laughs> you do feel you do. It, it, it reminds you a bit of like combat drugs you had back in the uh, back in the military, uh, Wyatt. Um, but it kind of burns a little bit cleaner than, than, than you're used to. Uh, your, your, body seems, your body seems to take to it pretty well. Um, you you do seem a little more aware, a little, a little bit better. I'm going to let, let it heal you a little bit of fortune. Uh, it heals you seven fortune. Nice. And, wow. and you're like fatigued. Where's my thank you? I want to hear it. Loud and Thanks, clear, doc. please. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> you're so welcome, Wyatt. You are so I welcome. Like I got a lot more energy, too. Yeah. Oh, boy. What can I say? We all get some of that. All in a day's work. <laughs> it does. Um, it does make you thirsty. We'll say that. That, that is on the side effects. There's the, for methane. For methane. For methane. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I drink. I drink methane now. That's why. That's why. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You get like an unnatural craving to like eat rocks, but like. Hey man, that's a. 
that I will that if, if you've actually read about people that do that, it's really fast. Pika? Yeah, yeah it's really weird. Super cool. Interesting. It's, it's like super a mineral cool. mineral weird. It's a deficiency. mineral deficiency. Yeah. 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 It's, you, it happens in a lot of pregnant yeah. people. <laughs> um their bodies are just like super yeah. out of whack and they want to eat rocks. Yeah, that's <laughs> amazing. Hey man, you get the iron somehow, man. Like, yeah. yeah, legit. No, it's it's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating thing. So, but yeah, the um, but yeah, you go ahead and uh, uh, yeah, you feel a lot better. You feel a little more stimulated. Um, uh, Medea, I'll let you also do a um, I'll give you you're you you kind of how, so you do watch and you watch it. It does seem to work, but like I want to ask you, do you have them hooked up to any kind of machine to monitor this, or do you want to like like a um a heart rate little, monitor, little, little like monitor them? okay, and then like blood pressure the little thing that it goes is, on your I mean, arm it's, it's it's look like we have fucking watches that do that shit in our real world this yeah. is the future so like you can okay. just you can just hook something up like them real quick and it would watch okay it yeah just like something to track all his vitals so i make sure i don't like accidentally like make all his blood burst out of his orifices <laughs> do you do you stuff like that <laughs> it's sort of bleeding randomly yeah um oops he's like yeah well, that's like that turns out hey. like my uh, my pro aneurysm. Uh, <laughs> it did what it was supposed to do. I take no responsibility for the side effects. Right. And, yeah, I didn't say they're gonna survive from it, but yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, 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 why she does ask you to like wear a monitor just for the day. Or That's for fine. The, I'll wear it. So you yeah. walk, yeah, and these are easy to get. Yeah, it's just a little watch thing. All right, so you kind of walk around, hanging out. Um, Myrtle, tell what your you, friends. Tell your friends, yeah. Myrtle, what do you want to um, do? Um. I'm gonna kind of scope out like uh, a little bit more of where we should go next. Okay. Yeah. Andrew starts drawing up a map a little bit. Um, he has there is the other probe of uh, where it landed, which has the lesser the, the gravity is like much more like seems like what it should be. Um, but he does mention that he's really in, he like him and. Um, Kiv, actually, the, the atmospheric science person, are both really interested in like what comes with these samples in the higher gravity area. Like, uh, but having samples from the lower gravity area would certainly help them understand the differences between see, like, is there a different composition, like different right. traces of stuff, what's going on there. Right. Um, and you guys did re, you guys have re-rigged um, Part of the uh, the ship to have a lab on it, so there is like a, a way that they do like more spectral analysis, like deeper oh, yeah. stuff like that too. Yeah, the probes give you like preliminary stuff, but they're not like they're not high end gear. They're not meant to they're meant to give you a very general idea. Basically, like can you survive here is what their primary job is. Can you like live for at least an hour or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> or like an hour. Yeah, just an hour. Yeah, like, just about. Give or yes. take. So yeah. while um, while they're all kind of figuring out everything that's going on there, checking all the gear, and then um, we'll start putting stuff together. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna rest a little bit. Okay. Make sure everybody is is all feeling well before we start, you know, heading down again. Um, yeah. So um, you do start getting some complaints uh, from some of the crew. Um, McMichael and Mikhail actually do start having complaints. Uh, the two belters, are three, and then uh, Samela, actually the three of them, three belters, the start belters. The belters start complaining about the gravity on the planet, like being kind well. Of high. I'm sorry, being what? Being a little high, like they're having some trouble with it. Um, they can feel that, like they're, they do have, like they have gone undergone, like because Mikhail and McMichael's, neither of them underwent gravity drug treatment. Mela did, right. but she can. She's starting to feel like there's a little, like a little extreme for what her stuff is. So she's not getting as bad, but those two are kind of like, yeah, this sucks. Like, all right. Our, there are th like kind of our. Th they're talking about basically what amounts like arthritis and like um, breathing's getting a little tricky at times um, and everything. Well, I know someone who loves experimenting on Belters. <laughs> Jewel Pierre <Mel? laughs> I mean, Strickland. <laughs> I mean, maybe now's the time. I'll like talk them into, you know, saying maybe it's not a bad idea. She a good, you know. Hey, I fixed got some Wyatt, yeah. didn't I? Yeah. So the, yeah. yeah. So uh, Mikhail and McMichael come down. Uh, Mikhail Ramos, who's the, the co-pilot, um, he's just like really like even for a belter, he's like pale. Uh, the guy doesn't okay. seem to like, and he you he's one of the things they notice about him is like posture's kind of wonky. Okay. Um, he has really bad posture. Uh, you've seen this before, Medea, like in Belchers that like 
just fly around a lot that don't like okay. get up and walk around. You're guessing he, and you can even see that he has like, um, you kind of see the back of his arms a little bit. You're guessing he has probably bed sores too. Okay. You know, um, okay. but he's like, he's, he seems like okay with it, kind of accepts it. Um, McMichaels is, is he, he does, he has have a, an artificial leg. Um, okay. and, uh, he is the, uh, you, from what you've talked to the rest of the crew, he is the resident, um, pharmaceutical fan. Yeah. Okay. And he's, he's great. Probably, we get along yeah, great. Yeah, he's probably down. Yeah, he can he <laughs> get along, along great. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, I could start off with a very, very, very light sample of epinephrine, which is basically like EpiPen, adrenaline, health kickstart. No, okay. wait, hold on. It's one in an inhaler. Sorry, I did not mean epinephrine. Uh-oh. But basically, okay. no, I know what I'm talking about. I swear. <laughs> but like, no, like, basically, uh, like. Like, like some sort of like uh, like inhaler steroids or something like that? Or, yeah, yeah, basically. Okay. Um, they, um, I they, mean, they, I, McMichaels is like, um, okay. He's like, inhale. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, he Super definitely simple. can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, I mean, McHale's like, ah, he's like, yeah, okay. And I mean, then, it, I mean, if McMichaels will let me look at those um, bed sores, I could probably. Yeah, oh, Mikhail. my bad. Okay, yeah, Mikhail, Mikhail... Yeah, okay. He, like, he takes... He, he, like, lowers his, like, flight suit down. And you can see... It looks like he's just been laying down for a very long time. I mean... Okay, um, well, I mean, I can probably prescribe some either antifungal or antibiotics thing. Probably clear that shit up. Yeah, and you're, you're guessing... It's because, like, um, you kind of, like, gotten the, the, the vibe of the ship. Uh, Mikhail doesn't really... Like, Mikhail and McMichaels haven't left the ship and probably, like... Yeah. Almost like a year. Okay. Um, and neither one's been under gravity at all. Um, okay. Uh, not not for very long. Uh, where in Mikhail, you kind of catch the pilot. Like he doesn't really leave the pilot, like the captain or the pilot's nest. Okay. He, like he kind of sleeps there a lot and is always kind of on okay. call. But you can definitely tell if... that his his behavior over the last year has been unhealthy for him. Okay. Well, I mean, if they would let me, I'd like to right. like take bone marrow samples. You know, grab one of those needles oh, that are like this long. Okay. Yeah. That's Check some um, stem density. cell regulation, okay. bone density. Yeah. Okay. So if they're gonna let me, I'm, yeah, I'll, I'll run um, some like deep analysis. Probably take a little longer, but. Uh, McMichael, like, when, you, so when you pull the needle, McMichael's is like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa and they, you and, won't and, even feel it. Uh, just and, just uh, like drilling for methane. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you're fine. <laughs> uh, Mikhail's like, whoa, and they're like, whoa, we just came in here just like to breathe a little bit easier and move around a little bit better. Like, and now you're talking about like like cutting oral bones, man? No, 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 no. Um, no, I'm talking about making your entire life better. Excuse wow. me. Wow. I don't cut people's bones. I make their lives better. Yeah, Michael goes, well, you, gonna, you gonna make me captain? <laughs> um. Then you're not gonna make my life better. Well, so, <laughs> actually. Um, technically, in different armies and reserves, if the captain does, uh, the doctor's always next. So, I'd back down. Step side. <laughs> You're going to pull rank on McMichael? Step oh, down. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Step nice. down. All right. This is going to be, this is, this is, I don't, this would be like a persuasion wow. check. So, this is going to be communication. Wait, yeah. can it be deception? Can it be deception? Because I think okay, she's trying to like. Okay, make a deception check against McMichael. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Ooh. Where's McHale's back That's a too? 13. Okay. Oh. Uh, McMichael's is kind of like, I. Uh, he's like, I don't, I don't think so, man. He's like, XO's next up. And then, like, Mikhail, who, like, spends, like, a lot of time with Myrtle, is like, oh, uh-uh, no, man. Mm-mm. No, Myrtle, unless Myrtle says so. I'm just so. saying. Myrtle... That's how it works. Back in the military and stuff, man. That's how it works. Yeah, man. Maybe your military, man. But we built a, we built a load up. We don't do that kind of stuff, man. We keep it, we keep it fast and loose. That's why we like to cap. Yeah, you know how bad it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, McMichael goes, uh, he goes, yeah, this is a weird, he goes, you know, hey, uh, he goes, uh, hey, Cap, uh, can you come down to medical? <laughs> yeah, no, come guys, on down. this right. isn't what you're supposed to say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, you, you, uh, Merle, you come down, you, you just go down a level, you come in and you see um, in the room, uh, you, see, you see the following scene. Yes, you see like you see like McMichael's like uh, hold, like kind of like has his arm defensively on Mikhail like and holding his hand up towards Medea, while Medea is just like, look at this big ass needle. It's gonna be fine. 
All right. Look, what's the uh, what's the problem? This is a here? compromising yeah. looking situation, he's but like, I swear I can explain. He's like, hey, your coil you brought on the on the boat here, man. She wants to stick uh, Mikhail in the spine with his needle, man. We just want to try to breathe better. Right? I can explain. I swear. You know, just give give us like some aspirin or something like that, and then like you know, send us on our way or you know, an inhaler aspirin. or whatever, man. But, hey, like, what I just want to say, this? I'm already setting you up on antibiotics. I got you that inhaler. I'm making your lives so much better and comfortable. Okay, you should trust me by now. That's all I'm saying. Like Cap, he's like Mikhail. Like Cap, like what? You, I mean, what are you making all this, man? Uh, well, first of all, what is it that you're trying to do with those big old needles? This is just like a sample taking, basically. I mean, it's just a little bit of pressure. I swear it's fine. Um, <laughs> just a little uh, bit. You know, that's like not on high on our priorities right now. So why don't you um, just kind of hold back on that? And, I'm just saying uh, the just samples let these guys take a while to rest. run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just saying. I, 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 I can believe get you. I, I believe you there. But, you know, let them go rest and, you know, kind of get themselves together. You don't need to take samples <sighs> from the crew. If they say no, you must respect that. I'm just saying, I could make everyone so much happier and comfier. And you know, it's that's kind of my, my job around here. So, well, uh, I'm sorry you don't off. have the knowledge to make like bone density drugs. I'm so sorry, but I'm literally here for that reason. Um, well, you know, the way my crew, if my crew wants those, then the crew can ask for those. And if they don't want them, then no. Yeah, what so like. Shame. M- Mikhail kind of challenges. Goes, he goes, look, man. He's like, no, I, I, I get it. It looks bad back there. And he, you know, he's got like bed sores for her. Like he, yeah. he's, he won't like kind of lay off. He's like, look, man. He's like, Cap, man. If, if you want me to, man, I'll go go sleep on a regular bed or something like that for a little while. And like, I would rather sleep. have you do that. Yeah, and, you know. but like this, this shit, man. No, no, man. I, ain't, I, ain't, no, no, no. And so like, you, you can kind of tell that Mikhail, uh, there's a little bit of like the whole like, oh. There, there's a cultural issue going on here. There's some, uh, there's some, um, uh, was it cultural trauma occurring here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, in regards to the Belchers being experimented on, he's kind of like not happy about. It. He's like, I'll go take a bed rest, but he, you know, he takes the inhaler, which he knows of the inhalers. He's done these before, and uh, it'll kind of, it'll give some steroids to his lungs to help, help cure the capacity up. But he's like, nah, I, I ain't down for this, and he kind of saws off. Uh, McMichael's <laughs> kind of standing there. He's looking at you, Cap. Like, do you want me to stay here or like? Uh, uh, he's also giving that look. Uh, Bro, give me an intuition check. Give me like a perception intuition. So, so good. <laughs> Let's see what, I want to see if you get what the look means. Double six. <laughs> okay, you're good. So that's- you're- you're, you're, you're oh, okay, good. I was gonna say you're I have good. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. 17, 18. Okay, you're good. Nice. So he kind, of, he kind of gives you this look, which the look is, do you need me to call Wax or to put her in the airlock? <laughs> <laughs> and all, yeah, he's kind of like, like, what the fuck is going on? Or, or do you want him to leave? Is kind of his thing. He's like, which extreme? So I, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of give him a, 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 you know, just hold just a second kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Then I'm gonna look at somewhere and just say, "Look, if you try to do this again on the crew, this man right here can take you out and give you some fresh air." I didn't means? even do anything. I pulled out the needle. That is it. That's that's quite enough. If somebody wants to come to you and say, "Yeah, sure, let's let's talk and let's do something here," but just like back off. We're under another pressure right here, and really, we don't need you. Um, oh, I'm pretty shit. sure you do, because <laughs> you see Wyatt out there. That was a bit too far, because I'm pretty sure your crew would have collapsed in the middle of a methane field without me. So let's, let's, let's take a deep breath, because I wasn't doing anything with bad intentions. <laughs> I've done nothing but help since I've been here, and I know you don't trust me that much, but trust me this once and know that I'm doing good here. Well, I don't know. Hmm. I think your version of doing good and our version of doing good aren't always in sync. Have I done anything since I've been on this ship 
to prove to you that I am not looking for the best of this crew's health, I kept Wyatt alive. I've let you know about the densities of the planets. I mean, honestly, I've been helping. Helping. You've been helping. And that's again, all I've been offering. If you're just, if, you know, it's like, we can, we can put you in the brig, we can put you out an airlock, or you can just <laughs> do what we're here to do and put your own little things that you want to do in your experiment brain kind of put that aside right now that we have a job to do and the job is not what you want it to be the job is what we've agreed to do (laughs) whatever (laughs) i have nothing to say (laughs) we're gonna find the perfect person for her to always experiment on one day (laughs) (laughs) one day one day and then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave. Okay. Uh, but I also want to touch base with uh, Mikhail and just say, you know, it's all right, man. Don't worry. I do want you to get some rest. I know that it's it's been hard with everything that we're going through, but it's fine for you to rest. We're fine. All right, man. But he's like, well, I just I just worry. I just want to make sure. You know, Mikhail's like, he's like, I, I don't know, Cap. He's like, I just want to make sure. I'm like, there's always someone there to push the button to get us out of danger, and I. I always feel like that's been my my job here on the ship is to keep us out of danger. So I right. Yeah. Well, we can't. You know, you can't keep us out of danger if you're not taking care of yourself. Oh, okay. You know, I, yeah. I need you. I need you to take care of yourself as much as you take care of us. And I'll do whatever it is that you need to make sure that you feel healthy and comfortable and happy. He goes really. Yeah, man. After all these years. He hands, I got your back. He hands you a tube, and he says, "Would you put this cream on my back?" <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. I'll pull up my sleeves. Okay. And he like uh, he like takes off his shirt, and he takes all you know. He pulls. He has like the thing around his waist, and he's like, "Okay." And you like you can see like the the bed sores on his back here. They're not like fungally infected or anything like that. It's just like bruising and like right. le- kind of lesions here and there. Yeah, um, like topical like topical prescriptions can help. Yeah. Yeah, top, yeah, absolutely. No, he, he definitely needs a topical cream of some sort. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, and like, it looks, it, it, it's pretty bad looking. I mean, uh, you're, it wouldn't be, um, you know him well enough, Merle, like he wouldn't hold it against you if you put on gloves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, I'll, I'll leave it to you if, if you if you do it or not, but I just if you do it though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, 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 you, you, I'm gonna, I've seen worse. Yeah. 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 So yeah, he he does all that, and then he goes and like lays on a bed on one of the beds, and like kind of puts on like a movie or something like that to watch or whatever it is. It kind of chills out in one of the one of the rooms on one of the bunks here. Um, I like get actually get some real rest for a change instead of sleeping in the freaking cockpit. Um, Okay. And then I also want to go talk to McMichaels. All right. So McMichaels is in the galley outside the place while like I'm Medea's in the lab still looking at stuff here. and uh, he's like all like, he's like getting some coffee and shit. He's got like a pair of them. And uh, usually when he has a pair of coffees, that means he's gonna go like talk to a waxer for a while or something, <laughs> like corner <laughs> waxer. Yeah. yeah. Hey man, uh, I just wanted to thank you for your good instincts in this situation. Yeah, no, it, it's okay, man. I just, uh, you know, like working with waxer, like working with people, but I don't know, man. These, some of these new folks get me a little nervous, you know? I don't know, he's like, me and Mikhail, we've been up on the ship alone for so long, and him and I, him and I, we got a thing going, and we, we're good. But like, I don't know, these people kind of make me nervous. So. I hear you. I hear you. You know, change is change is hard, and where the situation we're in right now, you know, it's even more so than we've been in the past. But I'm here for you. And I've just, you know, taken care of Mikhail over there. And I want you, I'm going to give you the same advice. It's like, you love to take care of us, but I want you to take care of yourself. And the two of you to help take care of each other. Uh, it's been kind of hard because like, you know, you all going out, you guys going out on the field and all I can really do here is stuff on the ship. But, uh, okay. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. You know, uh, Waxer and I got that probe. Uh, we're going to, um, your guy, uh, yeah, was it? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah Yao Zong, yeah. Yeah, you got yeah. Yao, like, gave us directions on how to take it apart and uh, get the pieces out for him to, for everyone to analyze. So uh, we're going to be working on that after dinner. But uh, yeah, I figured some food for the, the guys that came back first and then we get back to work. Be good. Do you so, want to, do you want to come down and help for the next part of this? I, I'd be cool. I'd be cool to watch. I, I'm kind of curious what's in that thing. You know? Yeah. I want to see what old, you know, I want to see what old killed uh, XO. Well, you've been down on series, you <laughs> you know, on Ganymede, and so, you know. Yeah, but that shit's all lightweight, I, I, man. That shit's all, that, those, those places are tiny. This place is heavy as fuck, man. Like, yeah. he's like, I had to go in, I had to, like, he, he like, uh, he pulls up his, like, data pad, and he has, like, an app on the data pad that, like, um, it basically, like, uh, coordinates his leg and everything, right? And right. he's, like, he's showing you how he's had to, like, he has his preset, which is his normal set. He's had to, like, go to, like, a higher setting for it and, like, do all these kind of weird things. And he's like, it's hard to get used to, man. It fucking hurts. And then, like, the joints hurt, man. Like, you know. So, I know this, this being down in this, like, in this kind of, like, uh, gravity is, I don't know how you guys do it all the time, man. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, it's just, it, I mean, you'll have an easier chance of it than some of the other folks here, you know, from the belt. But yeah. uh, but I don't want you to feel like we're neglecting you by okay. having you up here. So I'm hoping that, you know, if you want to come down, it, if you don't feel comfortable coming down, because this is going to be hard on your leg, uh, yeah. that's cool too. Well, I'm going to go take some coffees and have a few pieces of kibble with uh, wax oil, and then we can get back sure. to work and dismantle this thing. All right. All right. And, and, uh, uh, and it's like, you had the right instincts there. And I appreciate you for not just immediately going to the airlock, <laughs> you know, yeah, but <laughs> it's good to let me know if something's happening. And then also same thing with XO. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we got your back, man. I don't know, man. I wish she, I wish she tried to pull that fucking, that rank shit with Zenny sometime. That'd been fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking like, yeah, I, I, I think she would have been out the airlock yeah, before I had made yeah, it down to the no, med bay. I, I think we, I think we, uh, wax are going to have to get the, the really tiny squeegees. Uh, <laughs> Indeed. The itty bitty All right, man. All right, you well, guys, I'll leave you be. I'm he going back up. And... Lift and goes down to the wax and everything. Um, all right. So what? Um, people kind of eat, kind of relax a little bit for like a few hours before they start dismantling everything. Um, everything's secure. Everything's good. Um, the probes have like you have several. You have basically like. Uh, several surface bores, and then you have the bores out of the probes. So you have at least you have a about total of like eight bores to look at. Two are from the, like two are from in depth inside the the pit. The other ones though are kind of surfacey ones. Um, Padilla, you get invited by um, Anders, the sur the survey person, Anders uh, Skogard, and Kid Kular, the atmospheric science person, to join them in the lab for the bore. Yeah. Uh, Oh, for sure. For sure, yeah. Um, so <laughs> for sure. Jesus, that's fucking terrible, guys. This is like bad science <laughs> jokes. The funny thing about that, the funny thing about that joke is like, if you went to the right conference or the right discipline, people would lose their mind. Right. Um, anyway, so you go, you go. Uh, they they bring you in and they re rigged it. They have like this uh, analyzer and everything that to you that will basically take the bore samples go through slice by slice by slice and analyze pieces of it and everything like that too and see what's inside of it. Um, For sure. And um, they, um, Kim, Kim is, um, I'll, I'll kind of put, uh, Anders is a Mart, is an earther and Anders basically is kind of like, you're, he kind of reminds you like, for lack of a better term, you know, like the scientists, like those of us that go to East, therefore, for Eastern Merced, you know, like the scientists, people that go up to you 70 all the time and do field work. He kind of reminds you of a guy like that. He's like a field worker type, like, uh, oh, okay, scientific okay. Field worker. kind of naturalist kind of dude. Seems like he's, he's, he's got some muscles on him. So like he's in good shape. Yeah, okay. And he's like, you know, pretty relaxed. He's not like wearing like the formal wear. Uh, where okay, Kim's, I get it. Kim is from Star's Edge and is like very much your classical, stereotypical, like, scientist person yeah for sure um very clean cut um and uh Skosgar, if you're curious he's like a more like a Scandinavian descent uh kid kular is much more um you think um so uh you, you think he's somewhere from like southeast asia or something like that yeah um, for sure and um but they're both earthers for sure unlike your martian self okay. 
And yes. uh, but they're they don't they don't really give a shit about any of that stuff. Honestly, I'm here. Yeah. They kind of they kind of take, they kind of take the, the sample up, and he goes, um, uh, "Kid's like I got a little prepped here and ready to go." Um, Medea, you want to do the honors? And he's got like the button ready to push if you want to like start with the analysis. I'd love to. Right. So you push the button, and the analysis starts. Um, it cues it up, and it's do you? So my question to you, uh, Medea. Um, do you want to sit there and like watch the results come in? Like it'll take a few hours to go through this thing, or do you want to go off and do stuff and like let them kind of watch it or what, what sounds um, good to you? I'll stick around and watch just in case something odd pops up and okay. it needs an immediate okay. response. Um, okay. um, so you you go ahead and like kind of watch like the stuff come through and it's coming back with like water and methane. The predominant thing here is water by far. There's tons okay. and tons of yeah. water in it. Um, you are getting a lot of the ones, the samples that Wyatt took are coming back with a lot of methane in them as well. Um, okay, there's, yeah. other, there's other particulates. So like the, the atmosphere here is largely, uh, upper atmosphere, like I said, hydrogen and helium, but lower atmosphere is mostly nitrogen. And okay. you're, you're finding nitrogen, you know, traces of carbon from the methane, stuff like, I mean, it's just yeah. like, it's all the stuff you would expect to see. Um, yeah. But about like, uh, it's gonna take about an hour or two hours to go through the whole sample. But yeah. about like 30 minutes into it, they start getting like pings off of it saying like there's elements that need further analysis, basically. <laughs> okay. And if the machine can't analyze them, it's got it's either gotta stop the whole analysis and start looking at those particular pieces more in depth, okay. or um or like continue on the analysis. So uh Kim Kim is more interested in just having the whole thing. Why don't we sort out the weird stuff first, then look at the weird stuff later? Anders mm -hmm. is kind of like, I kind of want the weird stuff. I want to know the weird stuff is. Um, what uh, what kind of stuff do you want to do? What, what's your um... rationally? I know we should let the whole thing run, but I want to see what the weird stuff is. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um. So you you kind of like start uh, checking it out here, and um, Kim, Kim's like. All right, well, we're gonna start this whole damn thing over again, but all right. And there's probably more of it. If we have more of it, we can look at it more, but whatever. And um, he's you, uh, Anders kind of pulls it up and starts running through the thing here. And it's coming back with like basically, um, that it's like super heavy metals, like really heavy, uh, okay. metallic alloys of some sort. Um, okay. We'll, we'll say okay. that initially, um, but there, there's some, it, and based on what you guys are seeing, this is not like naturally occurring metals. They're like almost alloys, basically, like kind of like the trace amounts of alloys. Um, like the heaviest naturally occurring metal is like uranium. <laughs> and so, or I think mm -hmm. not metal, but the heaviest, like, uh, I think it is, it's metal, right? Uranium metal? Oh, yeah, it's metal, yeah. Um, so, I think it's, yeah. I think it's, it's like, a, I think it's like a silvery metal, but anyways. Um, but that's like one of the heaviest naturally occurring things. This stuff's like way heavier. Uh, okay. They might even like, uh, and so it's whatever it is. It's not radioactive. It's not coming off like like radioactivity or anything like that. But it is coming okay. off that it's like very heavy molecules. We'll say. Okay. Well, that's that's not safe. That's not good. Uh, well, it's not that. radioactive, but yeah. I mean, yeah, it's still not great. Okay. Okay. Um. um okay. So that's in the core, like that's what we've dig dug up, right? Yeah. So there's like, there's, there's like it's like trace amount in it. It's not like like they couldn't you okay. wouldn't be able to steal the naked eye type stuff. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> okay. And he's like, what the fuck is this? He's like, he's he's like, look at this. He's like, there's nothing like this on. Um, we haven't. He basically he pulls up samples from the planet you guys are from, um, mm -hmm. and he's like, there's we haven't seen anything like this, and it also isn't matching any known uh, metals. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it has to be like engineered from those people who modified this planet right like yeah the, they like call this them, isn't naturally they, occurring they call them the builders it's kind of the generic term for the aliens the builders but um right the, yeah but he like he's like yeah they uh i mean god god knows what they did to the other I mean, what, what, they, what we know that they've done to the other planet like it's pretty like the current theory is they replaced close to like almost a third of the planet with like their material like like a building inside of it but it's unclear what it does um, okay. And this is like, it doesn't match any of the samples. Like they have taken scrapings of 
the builder's materials, like what they build the ring gates out of and everything like that. And it doesn't okay. match that. That's, that stuff kind of looks like a, I'll, I'll put it, let me kind of give you some better example, like just because you're new to the expanse. The builder's materials, the best way to describe it is like, think like, um, it looks like kind of how the inside of like uh, seashells look, you know, that iridescent, like kind of layered stuff. Yeah. But it's like metallic. Okay. And, they, and like, it's kind of a layered uh, iridescent kind of thing and they're saying like this doesn't match even that kind of stuff okay i mean like the most we can do we need to like further analyze these elements and stuff and like find out different properties that we can hopefully compare to naturally occurring chemicals or like elements see like yeah kind uh, of back kim, trace. kim goes well i mean like with the with only the one machine that's gonna take that level of analysis yeah. we're gonna have to like keep keep the machine still um and I mean, and, and and Anders is like, well, like what he's like, that shouldn't take days. We should, we should be able to do that like in hours. And like Kib's like, you're not thinking, Anders. And Anders is like, what do you mean I'm not thinking? And Kib's like, dude, he's like, we're under like higher gravity here. The machine's not calibrated for that shit. And he was mm-hmm. like, he's like, oh shit, I didn't think about that. He's like, yeah, like the gravity here is throwing everything off. We probably had to go back, we'd have to get back to plant side on a uh, Mundos to like do the full analysis. This thing won't operate. This thing won't fucking operate in zero G. It's not built for that. He's like, I well, mean, we could do well the rest of the like restart the rest of the analysis, pull stuff out. While we're doing that, we can do like extractions of the heavy metals from the samples we have that are like already analyzed and do like very very basic analysis I mean, like, can, by hand, like the yeah, old fashioned way. Yeah, Andrew's like, yeah. I mean, we can we can shake the thing out, like centrifuge it out easy enough. That's, yeah. That way. In, in, Kids like, yeah, we can do that, but like, yeah, the spectro- mean, if, spectrograph is not going to work under this under these conditions. I mean, we're waiting for the rest of the analysis to happen. We may as well kill time by doing this, right? Yeah, it, that's it'll yeah. progress the time faster. That's fine. And you have noticed that, like, the, the spectrograph, like, when the results are coming back, it, its confidence level is like it's not it's not unconfident, but like, especially with like known stuff like water and shits really easy to find. Like, yeah. You know, but it's like it's still off enough that you're like kind of worried about the results. So like it's yeah, yeah for sure. Kiv Kiv has a point about this thing. He's you also you also know that Kiv works at a very high end high tech laboratory. Has. Yeah. He, he's a little he's got a little more uh, <clears throat> stick of his ass than other people. So <laughs> uh, he's a harsh boss. Yeah, that's uh, fine. I mean, I'll volunteer to do the like tedious extractions and testings if you want to just run the computers. Okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll hang out and they're all, it's kind of a team job and just kind of let the machine run through all the stuff here. And yeah, for sure. Easy extractions for easy. Okay, well, well, we'll look for more of this and see if we can get more of it and everything, but shit. Uh, okay, yeah, they're they're kind of at a wit's end. Um, you can definitely tell the kid thinks he's smarter than Anders. Um, <laughs> it's kind of how he kind of, kind of comes off a little bit. Yeah. All right. It's okay. <laughs> so does Medea. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, yeah, she thinks she's smarter than all of them, of course. <laughs> Let's be real. So, um, you guys, uh, uh, why you you kind of rest up and uh, take it easy, feel a little bit hydrated, get some food, and you feel a bit better. Wax, are you and um, you, you the two of you got done like pulling the machine apart, to, like take a look at the the probes. Um, the uh, Yao Zong, uh, Yao kind of goes over the probes and he's thinking like about trying to like re, um, he's like, I can't make them like new, but I can like certainly get them to work again if we want to try to drop them again in the future. But I don't know how well they'll, how good they'll be. So he's talking about trying to like basically like, um, yeah. what's that word? Refurbish them. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? Um, so he, he gives you and McMichael some like basically um, some fabrication te- like tasks to do based down the, in the mechanic shop to make new things like make new plating and crap like that. Nice. And go through and try to get some of the systems back online. Um, Myrtle, uh, what about what about you? What do you what do you want to get up to? Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I want to kind of talk to Exo. Okay. Um. Sure. What's up, Cap? So where, where, uh, is, gotta... it, where is it occurring? Just, just right, right, in, in his room or something like that, or yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So I got to tell you about a situation that happened <laughs> just a little while ago. <laughs> okay. 
And so, uh, so I'm, I'm kind of worried about this right now. And I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's just like, you know, we're here to do a job. We're here to survive. Um, and we know that it's always, it's always difficult with our favorite scientists. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to give you a heads up that you knew I've I've talked to Kale and I've talked to McMichaels and this is what I've told him. But, you know, I think that we should be, you know, kind of together of, you know, I, I want the airlock to be the last resort. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, but okay. <laughs> on the other hand, if she comes after somebody with a needle, when they're like Whoa. asleep or out of it or something like Whoa. that, that we have to be on the same same page here. <laughs> While they're asleep. Oh my De- goodness. Definitely if they're asleep or, you know, unaware of it happening. I, I think she's fine at what she does. She just doesn't have the people skills like, uh, <laughs> like the rest of us. Well, I don't really think that she needs to be sampling things from our crew. No, she sees this. Do we just need to stick with what we're here for? Yep. We can get back in one piece, and that was yep. a rough one, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she is useful, but, you know, sometimes that little, <laughs> you know, the little special projects kind of kind of overrides what we really need her to do. So I just wanted you to kind of be aware of, of that stuff going on so it's not a surprise. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep my eyes open for it, my ears. Eyes and ears open. All righty. Sounds good. Whatever you decide to do, if something happens and... I'm not here, then uh, I trust you, man. Let's hope I don't get to that point. Same, same. Um, as you leave the room, as you leave the room, uh, Myrtle, you, you, uh, Samilla comes up to you. And, uh, your wife comes up to you and says, hey, uh, I've been going over those, the kind of plot of a course here for us here. And she pulls up like her data pad mm-hmm. and shows you that like, just kind of plot of a way that they they to try to go retrieve the other probe. Okay. Um, she's gone over the numbers, materials. Uh, basically, she's like she's done all the logistics over everything. Kind of went over, uh, looked at, uh, did a quick run over of um, uh, why it's like suit. It was like yeah, it just got really like you know, <clears throat> methaney. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay now, but like it's not contaminated or anything like that. Too, it's still safe to use. You just, you know, we said it kind of hosed off here and cleaned it off a little bit. Um, but you know, I, she's like, I think get uh, get as much as we can while we're down here is a good move. She's like, I know the, I know myself and uh, the other two filters aren't too happy about being down here, but I think if we spend, I think we spend another day and a half here, I think we'll be okay. Um, you guys now currently, I should mention also, you guys are currently under um, the nightfall of the planet. Um, so, like, the outside temperature is, like, way low. Like, you guys can go out there with the suits, but you're not going to be able to last as long, kind of thing. Uh, it would be fine in space, because in space, like, you don't really, like... Right. You don't radiate heat, because there's nowhere for it to go. But here, there's there's atmosphere, there's nitrogen, and so you'll, you'll radiate heat plenty. Um, and you can even seal the outside cams, like where stuff's kind of freezing over. Um, there's like uh, um, the nitrogen is not like becoming liquid, but it's it's getting cold outside. And you can see there's blowing winds and stuff like that too. So they're uh, definitely not going out anytime soon. But she's saying like basically she's plot a course to the other probe uh, to get there and uh, take a grab and retrieve it. And she's like, also, if what Andrew's saying here below gravity being lower, it'll be a lot less intense on the crew. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is um, this is good. I think that right now everybody just kind of needs to rest a little bit. And then maybe once we get over there, we can um, go get it and see, see what we can she, find. We'll put, to, put together another away crew. She kind of chuckles with you, too. She's like, I remember... I remember was like, what was it, like our, our fourth date? And I think you remember you wanted to, you said to me you wanted to see the stars with me, and I don't think this is what you meant, so. Uh, no, not really, but if you want to come down, we can go down and put our feet on the ground. Uh, 
Do you want to, you want to be on an away team? Only if she wants to be. All right, you you you're the one that created this character. So like, would she would what do you think Sibylla's? I don't know what Sibylla's attitude would be towards that. I'm not really I'm not really sure actually. Oh, uh, she'd be like, oh, bless your heart. Bless your but heart. No. No. Oh, <laughs> no. I love yeah. you, but no. No. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, no. Um, yeah. I don't I don't think so. Are you, she's like, are you telling me you're you're gonna go with the next team out there? Well, I don't know. I mean, the hard part is it's so hard on everybody right now, and I don't know if maybe that. You know, if myself and, you know, the Martians will be able to do it and not suffer as much. I, I so think that's, able... that's really my only worry. Well, she's like, look, she's like, I'm going to talk a little bit of the crew here. Um, the the walls of the ship are getting a little, uh, a little tight. And if you want to kind of give some people some breathing room, um, Send a send a D out there with you guys. <laughs> What's the D gonna do out there? I think I think I think that's she's, not a bad idea. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah, I mean, she, you remember, you know, we were, you know, we always talked about these, uh, you know, leadership. We remember, I remember reading about this guy, uh, this Earther guy. Uh, uh, was it Shackleton? Uh, yeah. They, yeah, and uh, you know, kind of this kind of reminds me of that and his leadership skills. And I thought, um, you know. You know, don't just go out there and lead people, but show them and, 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 you know, let them live the experience. Maybe instead of this whole, like, her, you know, hey, this person's out here and they have a, they're having a, a bad time. I just pump them full of drugs so they have a better time. <laughs> Maybe they can actually see what it's like out there for people. Yeah, that's a great idea. You know, otherwise I was, you know, looking at, you know, maybe taking Kiv and Yao. Um... She's like, I'm gonna be honest with you, I would not take Kiv out. No. Kiv, I, yeah, you so see, Kiv's, Kiv's skill set is lab stuff. Kiv is not a field guy. Anders could probably do it. And Medea is? Hello? <laughs> she yeah, can bring her giant needle. You're, you're, you're a Martian. Like, you're, you're a Martian. Like, yeah, Martian's a little, little hardier than the, than, than the Earth that went to university and got a cool job on a cool spaceship, <laughs> um, which is what Kiv did, basically. Uh, so, so, yeah, I think, I think it would be. Um, but yeah, she's kind of she's she's interested in having a much more. Uh... Sibylla's giving me some advice about the way team, and it's I don't know I'm not sure how how, how receptive Myrtle is to that advice. Oh, very, <laughs> very. Because <laughs> I'm not a logistics person. <laughs> well, I think, I think so. You know, knowing those like little logistic things that don't make it better would. Well, I'll always listen to her about this. Keyword is a way. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I mean Anders I mean Anders is definitely a I mean cartography. Yeah. Uh and she she says, yeah, he would he would be good in the field and he's also good up here because he can uh run the, the computers and make sure we get everything, all the data that we need to uh get and yeah. make the the journeys in the future good. Um, uh well there's always Asha. I feel, she's like, I feel bad for Asha. Asha was here to bio-survey and isn't finding much. Um, although I think it's she's, true. she's she feels a little excluded from the rest of the science team. Mm-hmm. Um, because Aww. there's not really anything living out here. I mean, there are, I guess, like, like organic chemicals of sorts, you know, like methane and stuff like that. But it's not really um, attached to anything living. Right. So she feels a little, little left out here. Oh, um, so sad. I mean, you know, it's, it's uh, hey, that that that's like one of my favorite parts of the of book four is when um, well, who is it? The the geologist gets on the planet. And he's like, I got nothing to do. There's no tectonic plates. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's right. Like, he's like, what? Are you, why are you drunk at nine a.m.? Well, there's no tectonic plates. I can't do any work. So, this is my job for the next two years: is drinking on the drinking on my front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, every theory I know revolves around there being tectonic plates. So sorry. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, she kind of, there's no, like, they were hoping maybe to find life up here or something like that, too. Um, there is, theoretically, there could be life on this planet, like, especially like, underneath with, like, the pressures right. and the, um, uh, with all those, um, the presence of the methane would, like, indicate there could be life down there or something like that, too. It's not going to rule it out, but, um, it wouldn't be, uh, photosynthetic based. It would be something else based. So, 
there's a few other like ways to go about that. So like, maybe geothermal or something like that. So if it is da- if it is down there, it's way down there. I think. Uh, All yeah. right. But yeah, no, she's uh, Samilla's like yeah, take Medea. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Yeah. yeah. I stick my head out of my room and go. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'll just All <laughs> the whole crew comes by yeah. one by one. That's <laughs> a good idea. It's like a, it's like a fucking, it's like a fucking laughing where everyone's head comes to the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go to an old ass reference there. Uh, <laughs> old reference there. You know that show that, that like Nixon appeared on the crap. But yeah, it's you know it's like um, suck it to me. Yeah, suck it to me. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you uh. uh Okay, so you guys kind of come up with a plan for the next kind of uh, step of the journey. Go and get the other pro here, Medea. You guys want to put Medea on board. Um, and uh, You guys want to tell her that she's going? Oh, what? yeah, what? I, that's the question, too. Who wants to go tell Medea that they're going? Yeah. I mean, you can let McMichaels do it. Yeah, let McMichaels do it. That might sting, but yeah. <laughs> You want, you want Michael to do it? He'll do it. No. Oh, no. Do it you, you, you yeah. Know, yeah. You don't remember, you remember when you give McMichael the taste of power. Yeah. Like, because you, you have given taste of power before, and, like, he did technically shoot down an enemy ship. Like, what? <laughs> so... and that, and you didn't hear about that in that for, like, four weeks. Oh, my God. Did you, <laughs> yeah, he started telling all random people you're you're going on the way, team. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> you're going, and you're going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You finally reined him in. Wait, for everybody. You, you, you reined him in, and then you unleashed him. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. Well, he didn't. No. 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 I'm not okay. gonna have him do that. <laughs> All right. So who's gonna who's gonna tell Medea that she's going? I'll, I'll do it whenever I, I have so. to go okay. for my checkup. All right. Yeah. So where do you want to where do you want to confront Medea at? Since you're the attacker, you get to choose the the, the field of battle. Oh, I'll um, go to her lab. All right. She, she, she's in the lab. She's in like the. She probably day. stays there. Okay. So you go to the lab. <laughs> You come in the lab, and there's Kiv and Medea kind of sit there and look at the results in front of computer screens and kind of watch. You can hear the hum of the machine going. It's like you can see it taking the bore core and like pushing it through and kind of like slicing it up and doing all this kind of cool stuff. And uh, Kiv sees you come in and he goes, Oh, uh, hey, Wyatt, how you doing? Good, buddy. How are you? I heard you had a hard time out there. How are you, uh, are you holding up okay? I'm doing all right. A little yeah, more Medea's, rest. I think I'll be better. And Medea said she fixed you right up, saved your life and everything. I know. That's why I've come down here. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, uh, uh, yeah. Do you do you want to like? What do you want to do about Kim? Do you want him here? Or do you want to like? Kind of tell him to beat it for a second and take it. Go get a coffee break or something. Shit. <laughs> like. No, I'll let, I'm gonna let him stay. <laughs> okay. All right. He kind of like he you kind of like keep on looking towards Medea and he's like kind of oh okay. he gets back to his work and puts his headphones back on and shit like he kind of like starts working again. I'm enjoying the awkwardness out of it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, Medea. Wyatt. You're going out with us next time. That's funny. It's true. We need you out there with us. So you don't need me checking your vitals and making sure you're able to make it back? Uh, You can do that as we're walking. We can put a little computer. I cannot do that. (laughs) I'm just saying, if you put me out on the field, I'm looking out for myself and myself only really shouldn't talk that way because there's some people that wouldn't like that but well i don't like going away on the away team we need your we need your expertise on this so what expertise am i going to lend you on the field that i cannot give you on the ship where i have access to my technology it's it's called real world experience <laughs> Thank you need i to get out there a little bit don't need and- that <laughs> You need to you need to branch out a little bit. Maybe um, people will be a little more comfortable around you. And you I'm know. not here to make friends. <laughs> Just saying, I'm here to make sure you stay alive when you get dropped into a methane hole, Wyatt. Um, Wyatt, you know the kid looks behind you because you can see he kind of he kind of heard this. And when when she says she's not here to make friends, he kind of he kind of goes to you and mouths. He's all. <laughs> it's all space her yeah, yeah. It's a, space her. well it's your lucky day because i'm not here to make friends either suit up okay uh i, I don't know where we're going i think we're you, you guys smart. have like another I, you guys have a, a little bit of time here um, it isn't um because the rotational about. period is 30, 32 hours so you guys have like close to like about another 12 hours hey what i'm gonna take this from a different approach i've never been out in something like this when I say that I can only look out for myself, 
It is because I am only capable of looking out for myself when I am out on the field. Uh, now, Wyatt, when, when, when Medea tells you that she's never been out, like, in, like, backsuit type deals, you remember back when you were a kid on Mars, and you know Medea's a Martian as well, and you remember taking field trips to the various, quote-unquote, national parks they kind of have there where they show up to her, like, you know, you go and, like, rock climbing is a very popular thing, like, outside the domes on, on, a, on Mars. And you're like, this person is telling you they, they never went on a field trip or anything as a Martian. And you're, you're very, this is just suspicious. Like, like any Martian would be like bullshit, like type thing. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just stare at her for a second and I'll be like, I'd get some rest. You're going to need it. And then I'm going to walk out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Kid, yeah, and Kim, as you walk out the door, Kim kind of stands up and goes, oh, yeah, I think it's time to uh, take a quick break here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, awkward. Uh, I'm going to go get some tea and Medea, can I bring some back? And he's like, he doesn't even wait for you to respond. He's like, <laughs> fuck, like, this is going to be bad. It's like, he's like, he, he doesn't want to be around for your, uh, for you throwing tantrum. a fit. Yeah, your tantrum. Yeah, he's not here for it. He's like, oh, yeah, this, this lab ain't big enough for, like, the tantrum and the two of us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me just say, Medea was the antisocial kid who would try and hide on the bus on a field trip. <laughs> okay. When she says she was not experienced with this, she was telling the complete truth. She is not equipped for this. <laughs> so just as a preface, just to let you know what you guys are signing up for. <laughs> we'll take care of you. <laughs> I'll let the cap know that oh, I took care I'll of I'll take it. care of myself. <laughs> you guys can take care of each other. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Okay. She's gonna need us. <laughs> it's gonna get very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> um, you uh, later. Uh, Medea, John's like, uh, well, no, I'm, I'm just trying to think, like, uh, Medea, uh, what do you want to do for the rest of the night? Do you want to like just sit in the lab and pout and like work, or do you want to like go get some rest? <laughs> you know, what, what would you do? I don't know. I mean, she's just going to do her own thing. Like, yeah, she's sulking. She feels snubbed because, like, full stop, she's going to make this mission just bad. Like, not because she's trying to, like, make people miserable. Because, honestly, none of the stuff she does is purposely trying to hurt someone. She's just really bad with people. Mm, okay. So her intentions come off differently. So she's very upset that she couldn't communicate that like, mm. I'm not doing this because I'm selfish and I want to stay on the ship. I'm doing this because like, I'm going to make this harder. <laughs> that is it. Dra drag her feet. <laughs> Honestly, she's just going to feel like everything's so heavy. I'm not used to carrying this. <laughs> um, all right, so you, you stick in the lab for a while, and as the night goes on, uh, you, you're just going through and watching the, the samples come through. Yeah, she'll probably just stick around and keep You do get working. back um, some initial, uh, and Anders, Anders and Kid both went to sleep, um, and uh, you get some back some, you do, are you are awake when like one of the machines starts kind of beeping, like it has something, and you can see mm -hmm. that on the, that, those like exotic materials you guys found, like there's some results back on them telling you something about them. Uh, and this was Andrew's project, but you could certainly go over there and just take a look yourself. And... <laughs> Is there a way to communicate with people on the ships? Like I could oh, like stay in the yeah, lab. You, yeah, you can. You can oh, bring okay. someone up on their data pad. No problem. It's <laughs> okay, like okay. Phone jam. It's easy. okay, so I'll like stay in the lab and I'll start like immediately taking notes and stuff. But then I'll also call Anders because yeah. like I get Andrew's it. Like, it's his project. Oh, she's like, Fuck, done. All right. He's like, yeah, okay. And he comes. He comes down. It doesn't take him very long. It's, it's actually just around the corner from the rooms. And he comes on in. He's just wearing like you know basically like a, like, uh, like a flight yeah. suit and just boots and whatever. And he comes in and he goes, all right, let's see what's good. Uh, and you, you, did you want to look at the results before he did, like before he gets to the room or what do you want, how do you want to do that? I'm kind of curious. I mean, if there's anything like that, I noticed that be sh I should be like, oh, I need to start writing this down. I will, but it's not like, okay. like I'll wait to confer with him okay. to make sure. Like He starts pulling up the, the file here and kind of digging through it a little bit. And he's like, yeah, I he's on this shit. It's like, he's like looking at it. He's like, it is, it's basically it's mass is like terrifyingly dense, like com like compared to yeah. like what around it is, even for like mm -hmm. a metal. Um, yeah. Okay. He's like he's like he's like I'm not sure the comp he's like the results are coming back of the composition, but I'm getting back like extrapolations. Like we already have a bunch of it, what it would, like kind of look like, and he's like, there's whatever this crap is. There's got to be like a 
big amount of it down there that's causing that gravitational pull. Yeah, for sure. And uh, he's like, but like, what the fuck? Like, like, but it's not natural. He's like, there's no way this is naturally occurring. Something put something down there for some reason. Definitely. I mean, if this is just like completely out there, but it could form some sort of barrier between like the surface, a heavy metal core and like something else like it's hiding something underneath like we have these different density areas yeah. like it could be hiding something big like i mean if the gravity's so high and the material is so dense it's like everyone's going to stop drilling and exploring once you hit these heavy metals because everyone's so complex about this but what if it's hiding something it you know hide, no he's like you're right it could be hiding something um could be something they didn't want to get to exactly who knows why they did this stuff uh Shit. All right. Well, look. Um, I, mean, I don't know. There's really much more to do about this, but and he's like the numbers, are like the numbers, are like way off the chart. Like, it's like mm-hmm. um, he's like, but if, with the amount of this, there would have to be down there to cause that fluctuation of gravity. It's a yeah, lot. it's insane. It's a lot, and whatever it is, someone other is going to want it to analyze it, figure out how to make it. Uh, us. It's got to be us, man. Like. So you, you do know that um, one of the one of the major like potential revenue streams that like the uh, Mason's Haven like the colony you're you're yeah. part of was yeah. happening was that they were their hydroponic system was basically filtering out like particles of the aliens like materials um, like my, like like you know, super microscopic pieces yeah and this was giving them ideas on how to do like new material science stuff like whole new yeah. like fields of material science. And so Definitely. this would be a whole other another revenue stream. Yeah. Where like holy shit! Like, so it's it's pretty it's pretty it's got the the brain going in terms of like the yeah definitely. Of this. So, and Andrews is kind of excited about it, but he's like, um, well, look, hey, um, Kib's not. He's like, he kind of looks. He's like, he closes the door. And he's like, look, I I gotta be honest. So Kib's not like he's a nice guy, but he's not one of us. You understand that, right? He's not one of like the Mason, the Mason Haven people. He's Star's Edge, and we've had like our differences with them. Look, I'm gonna isolate all this data on the. I'm gonna isolate this on a partition and encrypt it. But like, don't tell Kiv like about this. I got you, man. This is your project. I'm just here for yeah. the ride. Yeah, let him. Let him. Whatever he wants to do. But uh, if he starts asking around about it, just oh no, can't do it here. But... I have no ideas. Yeah, we'll have to make sure to, um, I don't trust them. I'm not, I'm not sure I trust those guys entirely yet, so this is too big for them to get a hold of. For sure. All right. Madea feels a little accomplished, She's like, oh my god, if only someone confided in me, this is great. This is progress. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're, 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 you're not, you're not a competitor to this guy, so that helps out. No, um, she's like... Um, all right, so yeah, you guys, you guys rest up. Uh, you know, McMichael starts prepping the kit. Samilla starts prepping the kit for the the, the next journey. Uh, the the cart got like repaired how it needed to. The suspension got like updated. Uh, the mechs got recharged. Um, everything's going pretty good. You guys have everything kind of ready to go for the the next phase of this adventure, and uh, we'll pick it up next week with that one. Yeah. Yay. Medea yeah. Medea hits the ground. Like you know, like <laughs> yeah. wait. let's see how this goes. <laughs> yeah. The drama. Exactly. The drama. Oh, 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 the song. That was so good. I, you were you were you were great. Put, you were right really in the chat. Good. I wrote I said I'm here for Myrtle to bring the captain's voice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like I like when um I actually like uh I don't know. I, I've seen I've seen Donna use the uh, the the big voice once in a while. It's pretty fun. So um, I haven't had to use it in a while. No, I was, since uh, you were on last. <laughs> what uh, can I say? But you, it was so good. She's like, it, it's just the needle. I didn't do anything with it. It's just a little bit of pressure. Like, she was, was literally suggesting good. something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was it. Much. You guys, you guys crack me up, man. Oh my god. Um, was, I'm like space good. grandma taking care of all my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Space Scramble. Space Scramble. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, there is a link to all our everything at our X Christmas. If you want to find all that, if you want to go ahead and grab some T-shirts or some merch of our of our gear, there it is through Cauldron Tower. Uh, we got a lot of fun stuff there. If you want to support our stream, please check out uh, our Patreon. 
Uh, it's a great resource. Uh, we have a lot of stuff going on for next month. Actually, I got, I got a lot of stuff on the show. I'm very excited about that. Uh, we got one more game session with Samaria. Uh, who seems to be enjoying herself thoroughly. Yay! Um, I'm, Yay! Glad, I'm glad you got into it with Myrtle. I don't... Why yeah. is it just... That's always it, fun. It's yeah. always fun when we do. Yeah, Waxer would just kind of like ignored you. Uh, <laughs> I think so. Yeah, and, and, fair enough. Yeah, and why probably would eventually like do something, I feel. I don't know what Gaz would do. Maybe he had a restrainer. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think the strain is a, is a, is a hey. final way. Oh, might, might have broke the, broke the needle or something, you know? And like, it was a suggestion, <laughs> people. It's a real thing. Um, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> but um, all right, guys. Well, we're we're back next week. We appreciate you guys all hanging out with us and watching and having a good time with us. So uh, in that Absolutely. case, but we will see you all. Wednesday next week. Take it easy. Yeah, bye. 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 bye.